Ten shit. Had to hide away for so long. Why did we go wrong? Mr. Blue Sky. My God, I'm having an okay hair day today. You know, I'm kind of rocking with the fucking hair today. Feeling pretty good for the goddamn charity react stream right now. Is that the song from Guardians of the Galaxy? It is. Uh, and I thought I'd play the song, you know, get into the vibe because the new movie's coming out. Oh, pause for the sub, one boring for the sub. Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody? How Your forehead's bigger than ever today. How is everybody doing on this fan-fucking-tastic Friday, bitch? Uh, how are y'all doing today? We got a few things we're doing today. Uh, number one, reactions. Number two, specifically, an F Cancer charity stream today. F specifically, again, for testicular cancer this month. Uh, it is the April takeover for F Cancer. If you guys want to donate, uh, you can by uh, using exclamation point F Cancer. Uh, and hitting the link uh, that shows up when you do that. Actually, let me test it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, it's a Tiltify link. Uh, we've done an F Cancer charity stream before, uh, as well as many other uh, charity streams on Tiltify. So if you guys do want to uh, donate, uh, please feel free to do so. Um, and that would be very much appreciated. Even if you can't, uh, that is perfectly fine. Uh, you just watching the stream, supporting it, uh, and giving more um, awareness towards it uh, is good enough, right? So I appreciate everybody that is just here. Uh, if you donate uh, throughout the stream, I will shout them out because they will show up. Uh, no matter the amount, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we have a few goals. Today's goal is $1,500 uh, in the stream that we're doing today. Uh, if we reach it, that's great. If not, also great because we're still doing a good cause. Uh, I do have uh, three goals. Uh, we're going to get into the reaction in a second, but I do want to shout this out. Uh, we do have three milestones, okay? Uh, let me actually pull up the specific campaign. We have three milestones. Number one, at $500, I will throw it back, okay? I will twerk on stream. At $1,000, if we, or uh, at $750, forgot that. Uh, I will do an accent of my chat's choice for, like, a, like, like two minutes. You know, I'll, I'll attempt an accent uh, that my chat votes on, right? Uh, at $1,000, I will shotgun a fucking G Fuel. Um, and then after that, it's just whatever we reach above that. But I will be shouting out the goddamn donos. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, I will, after every video or so, I'll probably give another shout to it. Uh, and I'll obviously pause and read the donos after, uh, I'm, like, done the videos, and I'll read, uh, who donated, uh, in general and to the, uh, stream. Um, also, uh, I appreciate all the subs and everything today as well. If you do plan on giving bits and you haven't bought them yet, uh, don't give bits. Donate to F Cancer instead. I'm seeing people donate, uh, biddies. Uh, I would rather you donate to the F Cancer charity stream today rather than me, right? Um... We already do have some donos in, so let me actually shout these out real quick. Uh, no way it just signed me out, bitch. I just signed in. I just signed in to Tiltify. Uh, no fucking way it just signed me out. Uh, kind of cringe. Hold up. Also, we have a bunch of reacts today. A bunch of crazy ones. Y'all have sent me some, uh, whack-ass videos that I never thought would even be on YouTube. Uh, so we'll see how this actually goes. Hold up, let me pull up the dashboard. All right, now we're already here. Who the fuck gave $200? We're already at $283. I just hit the fucking dashboard, bitch. Who the hell just gave that amount of money? What the fuck? Who just gave that? Hold up. Bro! Joe F. Cancer Lozy said, uh, for the $1, says, Hey, Joe F. Cancer. Tori P. for the 5 to F. Cancer. P-Dog for the 1. What's up, Joe? Have, hope you're having a blessed Friday. Dub Austin for the $20 donor to F. Cancer. And Seb V. for $250 to the F. Cancer charity cause for testicular cancer this month. Joe Bart X. F. Cancer. I am in the chat for that. F. Cancer in the chat as well. Thank you for the fucking $250. Uh, from me and F Cancer, uh, appreciate it very much. 
Uh, Plan Z for the 499 F Cancer, F Cancer. If anybody in chat is struggling with cancer, I hope they get better. Make sure you uh, tell them you love them. Duh! JDW for the three and Che Blue for the fucking five to F Cancer as well. Appreciate all of those donos. Watchman for the 11,500 biddies. Can you send this in for me? It won't work. Yes, I will send it after stream. I'm not going to plug in all the details, but thank you for the 11,500 biddies. Mods, if you could keep tab on that, uh, that is what? $115. I will send it in after stream uh, for you. Uh, v has it for the sub. But uh, please, if you do have the capability of donating to F Cancer, don't send the money to me so I have to reroute it to F Cancer because then it actually Twitch takes a cut. So just donate directly to F Cancer and then Twitch won't take a cut. Uh, but watch, man. Thank you for the 11,500 biddies. I will donate that after stream. V has it for the sub. Nas for the 300 biddies. Your middle fi uh, finger looks weird. Uh, Mia for the thousand biddies, JN uh, for the sub, Jack for the sub, Cirque for the five hundred biddies, TJ for the three hundred biddies, Randall for the sub, FR Dash for the five hundred biddies, or not for the five hundred biddies for the fucking ten. What is that? Ten twenty subs? How many fucking subs was that? Hold up. Was that twenty subs? FR Dash for the gifteds, W gifteds as well. Pickle for the five hundred biddies. So many hectic things going on right now. Juan for the sub, Brian out for the thousand one hundred biddies, Tidy for the fucking sub, Katie for the fucking five hundred biddies, Hockey Baller Boy. Starcore for the 3 hundred biddies, O-Pulse, and one boring for the fucking sub. I speak at the speed of fucking light, bitch. Are y'all ready to get into the goddamn reaction slash continue the charity stream? Yes or no? <gasps> Zut for the sub, Chess for the... I should be an auctioneer. I should be an auctioneer, chat. Aussie and North for the sub, Techno. For the Techno Blade never dies for the 10. I've lost my grandpa to cancer, F cancer. Thank you for the 10, and I'm sorry uh, that you lost your grandpa to cancer. Uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, that I, I love doing F cancer. I love doing charity streams in general, right? I've done American heart. Uh, I've done a different F cancer stream. I did a red charity stream. I've done a bunch of shit. Um, but I really love doing F cancer charity streams as well. Uh, just because cancer is something that affects literally everybody. Even if you're not specifically affected, somebody, you know, is whether it's your family member or friend, uh, this month is specifically for testicular cancer, but uh, F cancer has helped with uh, all broad types of cancer. The awareness this month is just specifically for testicular. But thank you for the 10, and I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, Nanos for the 10 uh, to F cancer. Hyper for the 10 to F cancer. Saw for the, uh, Sawyer for the 1. Uh, can you say F cancer to my mom? She has breast cancer. Her name is Jen. Uh, I'm sorry your uh, mother has uh, cancer and F cancer. Uh, stinky for the stinky for the $150 dono to F cancer. I'm 16 and my dad just passed away. Bro, rip. Oh my god. My dad just passed away about a month ago from stomach cancer. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. I gl I'm glad you're doing a charity stream and I wish I could donate more. Dude, you don't have to donate more. You just gave $150. I appreciate any amount you gave. And I'm sorry that your father passed. Uh, that is genuinely sad. And you're very young too. Uh, and I'm sorry you lost your dad at a young age. Uh, but I genuinely appreciate the support. Uh, and your dad would be proud of you, bro. Uh, I thank you for your support. Genuinely. Stinky, W. Uh, and thank you for the 150, bro. My God. Uh, Dominic for the one. Di uh, Dig for the five. Etho for the five. Uh, not much doing my part. Dude, any amount helps. Ariklos for the sub. Shout out for the 10. TJ for the three. A lot of people I know have been negatively, negatively impacted by cancer. Seriously, have cancer. Facts. Mr. Psych for the fucking three. Or for the five. And Jogs for the 20. Izzy for the sub. Uh... Hunter for the 50 to F Cancer. Glad I could donate. Desi for the 10. Are we already at the twerk goal? We haven't even gotten into the react. Are we already at the twerk goal? My grandma passed away from breast cancer. Feeling for everybody who's lost somebody of cancer. F Cancer. Thank you for the 1032. Desi Nicole. I think I'm saying your name right. And I'm sorry for your loss. Um, Daniel for the 2. F Cancer. My dad died because of cancer. F Cancer. A lot of people in my chat have lost family members to cancer. Uh, I mean, non-surprisingly, as uh, it's uh, something that affects a lot of people. Uh, but I'm sorry that all of you have lost somebody that you love uh, to cancer. Genuinely. Uh, and Daniel for the two. Uh, Groffle for the five. Broke my nose because I got into a fight. Yikes. Owen for the five. F cancer. Hope you have an exquisite Friday. Thank you. Hyper for the sub. F cancer for the one. Mutant for the three. My aunt passed away of cancer. I'm sorry to hear that as well. Pickle for the five. Gifted. Are we at the goddamn... We're at the twerk goal. Okay. 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 Hold up. Let's... Uh, what's a good twerk song? Uh... What's a good throw it back song, chat? What's a good what's a good throw it back song? Throw it back songs. Thug shake? I'm not doing the thug shake. Hey Jolo. I tell her, you like she need dick tonight. That is not the song that I'm looking for. 
Songs to twerk to. Do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Move it, baby. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Yo, WAP? Bro, come on. Y'all always want me to... Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll twerk to WAP. Yeah, you dealing with some wet and gushy. Bring a bucket in a mop with the sweat and gushy. Give me oh, I gotta get to that. I gotta get to that. I gotta get to the chorus. Keep riding your ride. I do a giggle. I'm kind of wild. Look at my mouth. Look at my thighs. It's wet as wet. Come take a dive. Tie me up like I'm surprised. Let's role play. I wear the skies. I want you to park that Big Mac truck right in this little garage. Make me dream. Make a stream. I don't public. Make the scene. I don't cook. I don't clean, but let Aye. me tell you, I got Aye. this ring. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down inside of me, quick jump out for you, let it get inside of me. I'm gonna attempt the wall stance work here. It never goes well. Put it, never tell them where I'm about to be. I'll run down on them before I have a night. Run me, talk your shot, fight your dip. Ask for a call while you ride that dick. Why you really ain't me. never got him flying for a thing. He already made his mind up before he came. Now get your boots, hang your coat, fuck this way in. He bought a phone just for pictures of this wet and cushy. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet and cushy. Now make it rain if you want to see some wet and cushy. Fuck, that song ended, bitch. What the hell? Oh, no, that's the middle intro of the song. He been practicing? I have not been practicing, bitch. Oh, my God. I'm just naturally good at it, you know? Dude, there's got to be a better song. There was one throw it back song that I fucking loved. What was it? Dude, I literally had a whole section of twerk songs <laughs> for a stream. And I, I deleted the playlist. Is it this? Now I kind of like this though. Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Watch how she a guan, my girl, make your comes up. Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Nicky Bongs up, Slow wine, then she gone down for the grounds up. Catch it on the rhythm, she a wine and a tons up. Back it up. God damn. Ugh. I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh my God. And we're already at 850. All right. Y'all got to vote on an accent of choice now. We haven't even gotten into the goddamn reactions. I did not expect to get to answer $50 in fucking 13 minutes. Caden for the 825. Oh, lost my uncle to colon cancer. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, and they said F cancer. Oh shit. So many more donuts just came in. By Caden G. I think I'm saying your name right. Caden or Caden? Probably Caden. Thank you for the 825. Uh, and I'm sorry you lost your uncle. Um, fuck. Where, 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 where? Oh, oh, here's where I left off. Lucas for the two. My little sister just beat cancer. That's a dub. Seb for the 50. Thank you for another $50 uh, dollar dono to F cancer. Seb V5221. Daniel for the 20. A shout out to Kobe Brock for fighting testicular cancer. F cancer. Oh, my God. And thank you, Dan Danielle Mendrick, for the $20 dono. Rello Potsy for the sub, uh, Matt for the 20, F cancer, my mom's friend died of cancer on the 21st and had her funeral today. Uh, I'm sorry for that, or I'm sorry that, um, your mom and slash you had to go through that. Uh, did you attend the funeral or did you just your mom? And Tarts for the five, uh, that's what I've been waiting for, that's, uh, what it's all about, woo. <laughs> Sawyer for the five, thank you how my mom appreciated it. Uh, Kale for the 10, uh, for the three, my grandma had breast cancer twice and beat it about a month ago. Just got diagnosed with lung cancer, F cancer. I'm sorry to hear that, uh, that they got re-diagnosed with cancer. Uh, or a different type of cancer. Uh, but they'll beat that one too, bro. Uh, tell them to stay strong. Uh, Shay G. Burns for the sub, DJ for the three inch biddies. Alpha for the 25 to F cancer. FR Dash for the $100 dono to F cancer. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You can't click the link? Yeah, you can. Does it not work? It should work. I mean, it's clearly working. People are finding the fucking link. Dre for the one. King for the 300 biddies. Uh, Willie for the sub. Caden for... I already read that one. Sad for the two. Uh, I lost my grandfather brain cancer when I was in seventh grade. I'm now 20. Genuinely w, uh, w stream W streamer. M uh, much uh, love, bro. Thank you for the fucking dono. Uh, and I'm sorry you lost uh, your grandfather brain cancer when you were young. Lucky for the five. Not much, but everybody, uh, every bit counts. 
Uh, both my grandfathers were lost to cancer. I'm sorry to hear that as well. Uh, Meta for the for the one, Travis for the five. I know it's not much. I wanted to help my grand uh, my grandpa pass from cancer, so I uh, wanted to do good. David for the twelfth. When I was in grade six, my mom had cancer and was away for six months. I saw her twice uh, a month the whole time until she was done with her treatment. And being 11 to 12, that was incredibly difficult. I'm in grade 11 now, and she's just around her second big milestone after beating it. <laughs> Dub for that. Joe, I made a poll with some accents. I couldn't add more. Irish, British, Southern. Why do y'all like my Southern accent so much? It's Is it even that good? Pickle for the thousand bitties. Uh, and for the 10 F cancer, my dad had, te had testicular cancer. Well, that's what this exact stream is for. It was pretty bad, but despite the odds, he was able to overcome. That's a fucking dub. W dad. Uh, Bob for the sub. Uh, silly for the 300 bitties. Uh, I wanted to say I love your streams. Also, some guy in my school got arrested for beating uh, up some racist grade nine. Yikes. Aussie for the fucking five gifted subs. Aussie Joe Bart, uh, think of the five gifted. Foxy for the subs. All for the 20. Uh, just wanted to support the campaign. It's nearly a year since my best friend died from cancer and five years since my dad passed. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't want to be negative, but as a 15-year-old guy, it's hard growing up without my dad. Uh, dude, you don't gotta be, you're, you're not being negative. Like, I'm glad you're sharing your story. You are genuinely a great dude, F Cancer. Thank you. Uh, and I'm sorry uh, that you had to grow up without a dad, dude. Damn. Marmion for the 15. Seriously, F Cancer, for everybody who's lost somebody, wish y'all the best. Sylvia for the 5. Glad you're doing the stream. Thank you, Dr. Borden, for the uh, 111. Chloe for the 20. Uh, F Cancer has taken lives of a million people in my family, or multiple people in my family. Mimi for the 3. My granddad had prostate cancer, and he's going through chemo currently. I hope it goes well. Frody for the sub. Also for the one. Seb for the 10. Cancer uh, sucks. Uh, I'm in the first year of high school without my best friend because he's in the hospital. I'm sick with it. Sleepy for the sub. Jake for the one. Twerk clip is there. All right. Let's do the accent, and then let's get into the react stream. Uh, and we're almost at the shotgun G Fuel goal, and then we'll continue. Uh, but I might, if we, it, it, when we reach, it seems, I'm not saying if. When we reach the, the shotgun G Fuel goal, I'm going to try and do a few reacts first uh, because we haven't even gotten into reacts yet, and I don't want to make y'all wait too long. Uh, Coco for the three, uh, and Fluffy is for the five. Uh, my grandma died uh, to cancer, and I always wanted to meet her. She died before I was born. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, and Jono for the 10. Uh, I know you said this before. What's your workout spec? Uh, I do back biceps, abs day one, chest, triceps, shoulders day two, legs, abs day three, uh, day four, rest, and day five, I repeat uh, the, the thing. All right. What what do y'all want me to say in a southern accent? Isaac for the five. Do Irish? Irish didn't win, dumbass. Uh, southern got 64% of the fucking vote. I don't think we should have added Southern in there because every goddamn time I do Mr. Mackey impression. I'm not doing a goddamn Mr. Mackey impression, brother. Call me a dumbass again. Evo XVI, what the fuck does that even mean? Buddy's, buddy's from Ireland, wants me to do a dumbass Ireland accent. Buddy probably drinks Guinness. Buddy probably drinks Guinness beer. Talking about, talking about maybe get a real man's drink, Sonny. Out there fucking going to the pub. Why don't you call it a fucking bar, buddy? Going to the goddamn pub. What is it, what is it your time, fucking 10 p.m.? The sun already said in, in your fucking country. The sun, it's a pub. It ain't no damn pub. You ever had a Bud Light? You ever put some hair on your fucking chest, pal? You ever put some hair on your chest? Do Mr. Mac? I don't even know how to do Mr. Mackey, bitch. I, that, ain't even an, that ain't even an accent. That's just one dude. I, that's not even an accent. Mr. Mackey? What do you do? Mm, okay. Mm, okay. I gotta listen to Mr. Mackey. Hold up. I will, I will do Mr. Mackey. Mr. Mackey. Mr. Mackey voice line. Hold up. Uh, I really thought it was important for the kids to know the smell. I really thought it was. I can't do Mr. Mackey, dude. I don't no, know how no. they do that. It's an error of judgment, Mr. Mackey, but I'm afraid I have to let you go for it. Hold we up. searched sawdust. About the same. Uh, he just, he About the same. Dude, he just sounds like he shit his pants. Like, he just sounds like sad and nervous all the time. Okay. Okay. Anyways, are y'all ready to get into goddamn reacts? Uh, Foxy for the two, lost my grandpa to cancer, almost hurt myself. You saved me, uh, when that happened. Thanks. No problem. Uh, and I'm glad I could help. TJ for the one. Um, I'm glad it was the Thai community to you. How do you get so good at throwing it back? I don't, I don't know. Like, I've never practiced twerking. I just tried it on stream. I, I can't twerk. I can just move my back well. Fall six for the five. Uh, or for the five or ten biddies. Uh, my mom has uh, melanoma cancer, skin cancer, stage 3 or 21. 
Uh, and, st and stage four at 41, she survived F cancer. That's a dub that she survived. BPD for the fucking 20. My, grandfa or my grandma has stage four liver cancer, and I hate seeing her get worse every day. I'm sorry to hear that. BXD for the 377. Uh, my mom has uh, has breast cancer, just trying to help as best as I can. Anonymous for the one. Lemon for the three. Uh, a lion for the three. But he's lost my grandpa to cancer in December. He had at 20. Could you please raid bed skeets after stream? It's his birthday. Uh, maybe. Don't know yet. Is he for the 20? I've lost multiple family members to cancer, so I have cancer. Marmion for the sub. Your mom for the three inch bitties. I demand respect throws Karen tantrum. Uh, Siege for the two. My grandma uh, and, a uh, and a friend of our family. Sorry, what? My grandma and a friend of our family had cancer. Sorry, it's not a lot. Uh, I need to save. Just want to help. Dude, you don't have to apologize. All right. Let's do a quick rundown of the reacts today. Have we reached shotgun of G Fuel? What are we at? Oh, God, we're at 1,027. Do we shotgun it before or after a few videos, right? We already reached the last milestone I added. I anticipated us reaching this like maybe 30, not 30, dude, maybe like an hour and a half into stream after. Let's get through like two videos and then I'll shotgun it, okay? Because it's already been 21 minutes. I kind of want to, I, I, I don't want to make y'all wait too long. I'll do it after. I, I promise, I swear I will do it. I swear I will do it. I will shotgun the moist critical peach one. Uh, watermelon for the thousand biddies. 5K shave your head. Dude, I don't even have a razor to shave my head. <laughs> I, I would have to buy one. I said one day for a charity stream I would shave my head, but I would actually have to buy fucking hair, hair trimmers first. Chefs for the 550 bits. Is he for the sub? All right. Uh, we're going to start out with a movie trailer for uh, Sisu. Sisu. I don't know how to fucking say that. Somebody recommended this in the video suggestion tab. Exclamation point Discord. You guys can send videos in the video suggestion tab. Then we have Kinky Singles Try and Find Love. Girlfriend Sleeps with a Thousand Black Guys. You won't believe it. I crashed a eggplant riding class. Going to have to scan that one to, for TTS, but it is a Jadeon video. I cloned my dog. I snuck into a cult. Childhood crushes in the lying loot Pontiac Pocketer. That's a W fucking rundown. It's a W goddamn rundown. Why is TTS not on? Because it would just interrupt everything I'm saying. Is he for the sub? Willie for the two. F cancer. My great uncle, who was Mi was Mike Tyson's sparring partner, died of tonsil cancer. Tonsil cancer. I didn't even know that was a thing. Pickle for the three thirty. Who's your favorite superhero? Favorite superhero chat. Name it. Venom. He's an anti-hero. He doesn't count. Ooh. Favorite superhero. Can I go anime? Can I... If I can go anime, I'm gonna go anime. Okay? Uh, if I could go anime, I'm probably gonna go... Ooh. He's an anti-hero. That doesn't count. If I... Anime sucks ass. Well, it depends what anime. I... I ooh, okay, maybe I won't go anime. Homelander? Homelander is a dickhead. One Piece? Black Panther? All Might? I would not go All Might. I don't like All Might that much. I also don't like Deku. Deku's a loser. I, Deku's literally a loser, bro. I can't. I, somebody told me to cosplay as Deku. Dude, he had, like, cosplaying as Deku would look so bad. Luffy? Maybe Luffy. If I had to go an anime superhero, probably Luffy. Maybe Zoro. But if I had to go a regular, like, Marvel-esque superhero, probably like Thor, but I feel like that's cliche. I'm gonna go Rocket. I'm gonna go Rocket, right? I'm gonna go Rocket the Raccoon. Prince story for the sub man for the two. Uh, Chess for the for the sub. Mihi for the sub. Uh, Afro Dash for the thousand bitties. Uh, and Pickle for the three hundred thirty bits. Uh, my grandpa lost his life from cancer. I'm sorry to hear that. All right. Story for the sub. We'll get into a few videos. Uh, and then Joe Rocket. Really, what's wrong with Rocket? Deadpool's the best. Deadpool's an anti-hero. That doesn't count. We're going to do the trailer, and then we're going to get into, like, we'll watch, like, these three videos, and then I'll shock at the default. All right, Sisu, start it up. Lock in, chat. Lock in. Lock in right now. Lock in right now. Also, genuinely, thank you, everybody. Seb, everybody that gave a bunch of fucking money. Seb gave, like, fucking $300. But, like, everybody that donated, thank all of you uh, for donating. I appreciate all that. We're already at $1,033.44. Uh, $1, um, wow. Uh, I genuinely appreciate everybody that's donated. I love doing charity streams. I love that y'all love, uh, me doing charity streams, uh, because I genuinely am so happy that we could actually reach the goals that we, uh, output. Uh, and yeah, genuinely thank you. 
Uh, and let's start up with the videos. Uh, and somebody says you missed my biddies. FR Dash said you missed my biddies. Felix for the one, uh, foul for the $2.50, and Bri for the fucking one. Uh, F Kitzer, w will you hop on Super Seducer? No. I deleted Super Seducer. All right. First video of the day. I might play Super Seducer 2, but one, no. Today's reacts. Tomorrow, I'm not live. Sunday's reacts. Monday, I'm doing Bramble the Mountain King. Tuesday, I'm off. Wednesday, I might finish Bramble the Mountain King or play Demonologist with Max. Thursday is probably Fortnite foul ish something like that. Maybe Fall Guys. Friday reacts, and then we'll go from there. Bobat for the fucking $60 dono to F Cancer. My grandmother passed away uh, from brain cancer like two years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Still sucks to think about. Testicular cancer affects one in 250 men. Although a lot of you are young, I seriously want all of you to go to the doctors regularly on God. Cancer is a disease that could go unnoticed. Take care of yourselves. Yes, not just for testicular cancer, but everything. Skin cancer, all of that, right? I'm a blonde guy with white colored eyes. The chances of me having skin cancer is way higher than everything else. Make sure you get checkups. Make sure you go to the doctor frequently because when you catch that shit early on, the odds of getting through it are much higher. Thank you for the nice message, Bobat, by the way. And I'm sorry that you lost your grandmother. Uh, hyena for the 500 uh, biddies. My grandpa got cancer at 85. He amazingly beat it, and I'm so happy for him. He's 90 now. Wow. And IDAR for the sub. All right. Lock back in, chat. Let's watch the fucking trailer, and then we'll get into the first video. I don't even know what this is for. Somebody said it's a good movie that's coming out, though. Sisu. Sisu. Gold Rush. Oh, that is the cutest dog I have ever seen outside of my own dog. But that is the cutest dog ever, dude. Look at him. He's so sad. Oh, his ears are stuck behind his head. We're rich, boys. Somebody said the California Gold Rush. Dude. Dude, that's not... You know, you know how I know this isn't California? Because that guy's a Nazi. No way you just said California Gold Rush. Buddy, have you ever taken a history class? That's California? How the hell is that California? How is this California? This is not California. The Nazis were never in California. It says Finland. Okay, good. This old fucker is a gold miner. <laughs> we're rich, boys. Get down on your knees. Damn, are they going to kill him? <laughs> We got gold! <laughs> what? Nah, this movie's gonna be fucking crazy. Bro, how did they not kill him? Fuck him up! <laughs> That's not TOS, dude. It's fake gore. Real gore is TOS. This is a fucking movie. We got gold! Wow. <laughs> the studio behind John Wick. Oh, this shit's gonna be crazy. Oh, this shit's gonna be a fucking crazy movie. This guy's like 70, though. He was a Finnish commander. He lost his home and his family in the war. He became a one-man death squad. He's one mean motherfucker that you do not want to mess with. He just throw a landmine at that guy's head. You'll see what happens when you take everything from him. 
he believe that he's immortal? No, he just refuses to die. How many mines did we bury here? All of them. You? And you? Yo, I'm not listening to that dumbass general. Yo, he said, how many mines did you bury here? All of them. And then he picks one- he picks me to fucking run through the goddamn field? Hell no. You. And you. I'ma just shoot him. I'ma just- I'ma just kill him. I'ma just kill the general. He'll kill you. Not if I kill his dumb ass first. Like, bro, that guy just blew up like a fucking cherry. <laughs> This is not about who's the strongest. This is about. I don't want to say this looks like it has no storyline, but it looks like it has no storyline. <laughs> this looks like a two hour movie. This looks like a two hour movie of just fighting. And yo, I'd watch it, but like, what is the story? This guy is mad because his family died. And he's just going to start murdering Nazis. I mean, I'm down for watching the movie. But, like, there is no plot. There is just him killing everybody. Giving up. We have a word for that in Finland. Bro's rushing a plane with a pickaxe. Fizzle! We might have a problem. Bro, that actually does look like a good movie. When does that come out? When does that come out? I want to know when that comes out. Uh, Bryo for the one. Uh, Big for the five. My grandma got canceled last year. Beat it. Dub. Ryan for the three inch bitties. The new Star Wars game came out. It's fire. I love what you're doing. Uh, today, my grandpa has prostate cancer. I know this is probably for another type of cancer, but you're a good human for this, and I hope everybody who has a family member who's going through this gets through it. W message. Trazzy for the sub. Oh, and for the 10 uh, to F cancer. Uh, on Sunday, it'll be one year anniversary for my grandfather's passing. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, and thank you for the 10, though. Um, and Maniac for the three. Uh, I thought the dog was a sheep. Uh, Goo up for the five. Watch the new Flash trailer. No. Seb for the... Th Seb for the $100 dono to F cancer. Bro, stop... Like, well, I mean, I'm not going to say stop giving money to F cancer. But normally, bro, if that was to me... I'd be like, damn, buddy, you just gave like $400. God damn, dude. Se so Tonbull said rare Seb dub. How's that a rare Seb dub, bro? Seb D, thank you for the $100 dono to F cancer. And Jack for the 20 to F cancer. Danny for the 300 bitties. Eddie for the 500 bitties. My mom beat stage 4 cancer. Uh, personally, nobody should ever have to go through that. Ace Real for the sub. Idar for the sub. Hyena for the 500 bitties. Uh, oh, I already read that one. Uh, water for the five. Uh, will you be willing to react to a cringe video I made with my friends back in middle school? I can't click that link. Send it in the video suggestion tab. I might watch it another day, but not today. Stinky for the hundred and seventy dollars to F cancer. I have the TTS working and it's not working. If cancer was a person, I would push them off a cliff, burn their body and then pee on them. Thank you for the $170 dono to F Cancer. Stinky. We're at $1,409.94. Almost at the goddamn goal. We might have to up it. All right. Wow. Thank you for the fucking donos, dudes. Wow. Stinky and Seb, thank you for the big ass donos. Jack for the 20. Lil for the 15. My grandma died from complications due to cancer. I'm now finding out a lot. More family members have cancer. Fuck cancer, man. By the way, you're my favorite content creator. I'm sorry your grandmother passed. Uh, or grand, oh yeah, no, grandmother, I, I, I thought it might have been grandfather, but that would have been GF. Thank you for the fucking, uh, 15, uh, and I'm sorry your grandmother passed. All right. Lock back in here, chat. Kinky singles try and find love. Uh, the first actual video of today, the button. Uh, everybody loves the button. We watch this shit all the time. This one's gonna be really weird, though, because it's about kinky people. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Oh, God. I'm very into the kink community, so okay. tying people up, clamps, peeing on people. Would you ever be into someone peeing on you? Welcome. Yo, she leaned in. Nah. 
Would you ever be open to somebody peeing on you? No, but you gotta have more of a curious look. What is the opinion? Yo, know, I'm not, you know, and motherfuckers are gonna say I'm kink shaming. I'm not kink shaming. But what is the appeal of someone peeing on you? Like, why, why is that enjoyable? What is the, how does that become something that someone enjoys? Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. Because it's warm? Dude, it smells like piss. Because it's warm. You know what else is warm? Not piss. Water. Warm up a bath. Pee. Because it's degrading? Ugh. That boy for the three-inch biddies. The movie's already out. It came out today. Really, it came out today. Danny for the three-inch biddies. Birthday today, uh, and I can dono. I donated a couple months ago about my leg surgery. I'm recovered now and wanted to thank you. Duh! When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last Didn't you pee on Brooke? Bro, I peed on Brooke in the shower, and she cupped it and threw it in my face. Now, I, that was not like a piss kink. That was like, ha ha, I just pissed on you. That's funny, right? That's different. That's not the same thing as a piss kink, okay? A piss kink would be like, oh, you want someone to pee on you. <coughs> Why are people, I already told this story. Why are motherfuckers saying, what? What? No way. No way, really? Really? Why is that so shocking? You guys shower together. Dude, we're... Yes, I've showered with my... Yes, I've showered with my girlfriend of a, almost a year and seven months. Yes. At 21 years old, my girlfriend is 21 in two months. Yes, I have showered with my girlfriend. Why is that so shocking to believe? Is that... Is, what do you think? We sleep in different beds? <laughs> you, think, you, think I, you think I sleep in a different bed than my girlfriend? Like what? You peed on her. Dude, because it was funny. Because it was funny. And then she threw it in my face, and then it was no longer funny. And I was upset because I had pee on myself. Uh, Tonbo for the 50 to F cancer. Tonbo. <laughs> Thank you for the $50 donut to F cancer, dude. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Thank you for the fucking 50, dude. Tom, dump in the chat for Tom Bull. Thank you for the 50 to F cancer. That's different, though. That's not a kink. You're weird for that. Bro, y'all saying I'm weird for that? Like, you realize other couples do the same thing. You're different. How am I different? Has he already shotgunned? No. I'm going to do it probably after this video or the next video. So you're both naked together. Dude, see, now you're just, like, like now you're asking questions that are already kind of, like, self-explanatory. But it's just, like, why are you acting like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to move on, right? I'm just going to move on. Um, me and my girlfriend are both in college. We've been dating for a year and a half. Is that odd that, I, that, I've, that I've showered with my girlfriend? Okay, I don't know. We're going to move on. You can have your own goddamn opinion. We're going to move on. I think your opinion's weird. That's not okay. Okay, that's not okay then. That's not okay. Jesus Christ chat. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I need room for Jesus. Okay, there we go. Lock back in, chat. Have you done sinful activities? Bro, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hit your cart. No, I'm not hitting my cart. Story for the sub. XDG for the 300 biddies. It's more of like a comfortability thing. Like you and your partner are close enough to show your natural parts to each other. That's what I'm saying. That's literally what I'm saying. Like y'all acting bro peed on his girlfriend. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, like bro. Oh my God, can we move past this chat? Jesus Christ. Can we move past this? Oh my God. You've held Brooke's hand? Oh my God. Yeah, you've peed on Brooke? Oh my God, how weird. <laughs> oh my God, how weird. Okay, let's move on. You're comfortable enough to piss on her. Dude, in the shower. In the shower in the shower, right? You're missing out a key factor, right? You're acting like I just like, just just randomly just pissed, right? Like I, I pissed in the shower, right? Where you could just wash that shit off. Still, okay. You're like in, in public, that ain't in public. Can we move on? Lock back in chat, type locked in. 
Storms with a five, uh, 522. I'm going into the mall and show random people you twerk and nobody can stop me. Okay. Story for the sub. Lock back in. Like motherfuckers making a big deal, bigger deal about it than it actually is. All right. Huh. Some kid, I just posted a tweet saying I was doing an F cancer stream. Some guy said another react stream. That's original. I replied and said, who shit in your cereal? Fucking dickhead. Another react stream? Maybe you uh, shut the fuck up. On a date for 10 minutes, it went an all expenses paid second date. This is the button. Hi. My name's Gabriel. I'm Lonnie. Hi. Good to meet you. You too. Fun fact about Gabriel. Yo, what's the weirdest thing somebody's gonna say right now? Let's do predictions. I'm gonna say something with poop. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna say that's the weirdest it could be, right? Poop. Something with something with poop is going to be the weirdest is the weirdest kink. You probably pissed in his cereal because you thought it was funny. Bro, bro, like I say one thing about piss. And motherfucker, oh, you probably you probably just pee in people's drinks, don't you? <laughs> you probably just pee everywhere. I bet you just I bet you just start peeing on the ground. I bet you just peeing on the ground right now, like fucking it. Like, what are y'all talking about, bro? Sometimes he farts during sex. Okay, that was that's that's a gross <laughs> misrepresentation. <laughs> you fart during sex? Not regularly. Uh, uh, uh. Why is she reacting like that? It ain't that serious. It ain't that serious, okay? You rip ass one time. Hey, one slipped out. One slipped out. My bad. You you fart during sex? <laughs> you fart during... Arrgh. Get the fuck out of here. My God. Yeah, I ripped ass one time, okay? It wasn't that serious. Really? The time that I lost my virginity? Uh -huh. I was very... Oh, I was... Oh, so the time he lost his virginity? Ooh. Terribly nervous. Okay. And I just farted out of nervousness and, you know... She laughed at me. How did that even end? It was, yeah, it was just very much over at that point. I mean, oh. there's really no coming back from that. Oh. What are you two looking for in a relationship right now? Yo, I feel so bad for him. Wow. Wow. That was like, he just said she laughed at me and then we stopped. Lemon for the 20 to F cancer and Seth for the 20 to F cancer. Thank you guys for the $20 donuts to F cancer. I mean, I, I was, like, monogamous for a long time, and now I'm not. I'm just kind of enjoying being single and dating around, to be honest with you. What about you? Mm. She gonna press on me. Um, I, I'm gonna answer, but I, I, I can't do the dating around. I see. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. What are your red flags? I can get pretty hot-headed. Okay. Um, when I'm mad, I don't want to talk. I feel like that's more mature than trying to... Do y'all like bangs? I feel like bangs are making, like, a comeback. I feel like it's, like, one out of every four women have bangs. I don't think they're bad. I think you gotta... I think you gotta... You gotta fit the bang look, right? It, it fits some people. I think they... I think they look fine with bangs. I think some people, it's like, you shouldn't have bangs, right? We already beat the goal. I have to raise it. Oh, dead ass. Oh, yeah, we're at 1,540. Hold up. How the fuck do I raise it? Oh, God, I don't remember how to raise it. Overview. Oh, here it is. Overview. Where do you change the fucking amount? Dude, I don't remember how to fucking change the amount to add more. I mean, like, motherfuckers could still donate. It's just, I don't know how to add another fucking... Oh, God, how do you up it? I literally upped it the other day. Oh, targets. Oh, no, I can't do that. What should I up it to? Oh, here it is. I can up it. What should I up it to? Probably 2,000. Oh, not 20. Jesus Christ. I mean, that would be dope, but... <laughs> 20K. Woo! 20K. Woo!
Okay, yeah. Now, now we're now I upped it. All right, Dub. Honey blueberries for the twenty dollar dono as well. Like be heated in the moment. Yeah. For me, probably that I make everything into a joke. Like I do stand up. What's your best joke right now? It better be funny. I have a joke about uh, how collecting lovers is like collecting rocks. Like you can never have too many. If you bring a certain number back through your apartment, like your leasing agent gonna start looking at you kind of funny. Like, damn, this bitch got a lot of rocks. <laughs> That was the worst joke I've ever heard. How do, your leasing agent's going to be like, "Damn, you have a lot of rocks." I th I don't think my if you were if you were bringing back a new person every day, yeah, the person that's renting your apartment to you would be like, "Yeah, that's kind of weird." But if I'm just bringing like rocks home, they're not even going to see them. I could just put them in my pocket. Like they ain't going to know. That was the joke. That wasn't even a joke. It was like a bad analogy. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Can I ask why? You're not my type. What's your type? Think you're women. No hard feelings. <laughs> I got a plywood board body. Nice to meet you. I'm Leilani. Leilani, I'm Sid. What kind of music you're into? Everything except for That's screen. the piss girl. That's the piss girl we saw in the intro. This is where everything's gonna get whack. Oh, I'm more of like into like dark wave, kind of like. What's dark wave? So it's like sexy dungeon, like club music. <laughs> okay. Wow. Sexy dungeon club music. Should I look up dark wave music? Sexy dungeon club music. Dark wave music. Evs for the one dollar dono, Subber for the three, uh, and the weapon for the side. <laughs> How do you two handle pain? Piercings and tattoos don't hurt for me. I have my nipples. My oh, nipples tattoos even... hurt like a bitch, dude. People that say tattoos don't hurt, it depends where. When I got this tattoo, did it hurt? When I got this tattoo, did it hurt? When I got my my chest one, hey, that didn't even hurt. When I got my leg tats, dude, I was a little fucking puss boy. I was sitting there, I was sitting there like, oh my god, sweating. Every time I get a tattoo, too, I inform the tattoo artist that their bench will be sopping wet by the time I stand up. Even if I, when, when I'm getting, like, pain, like, when somebody's inflicting pain on me, I sweat a lot, right? And so I'm laying on this chair, and every time I've gotten a tattoo, they're tattooing me, and when I sit up, it's just wet. Like a like a, a thin layer of what did you cry? No, I wouldn't fucking cry. I'm like, there's like this is what the face all the face all make when it really hurts is this. That's it. I'll go and I'll breathe in. And that's it. But I don't know why my legs hurt so bad. Because I didn't think they would hurt. But they hurt way more. But, like, all the other shit didn't hurt. But I also don't have that many, like, big tattoos. DJ for the three. Nobody has uh, made a single dime off Dark Wave. And Gweeb for the three-inch bitties. Have you ever tried Snus? No. It hurt. It hurt after. It hurt after, after yeah. I just recently got one of my nipple rings ripped out. <laughs> and that hurt. <laughs> so you have no nipple? No, I have a nipple. It's oh, just, okay. like, kind of has, like, Is it in two pieces? Oh! Can you like heal it back on, or is it just like, oh, uh, is it just like, like a, uh, like a, fl a, a filleted open like hot dog? A little split in the center of it. Oh, I just got hot on the door and it just ripped it right out. Anyway, are you two vibing with each other? I am, but I don't think it's going any further. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lani. Tattoo says queen, huh? I am a queen. I'm also divorced. Interesting. Yes. What's divorced. The thing you been divorced. She looked about 21. She looks my age. Married and divorced. Divorced. Interesting. Yes. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? 
probably be like tied up with rope or like handcuffs. I'm very into the king community, so. Okay. Tying people up, clamps, peeing on people. Okay. Yeah, that one caught her off guard. That one caught her off guard. The tying up and clamps. Okay. See, when she heard peeing on people, she went, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that one's a little far. Would you ever be into someone peeing on you? No. Definitely not. <laughs> it was a special occasion. <laughs> I really like this tattoo you have. Can you tell me about that? Is it? Oh, oh I didn't realize. Oh. Maybe up? that's a requirement for her. They have to want to be peed on. Good. Why'd you press the button? I think you're just a little too shy for me. You'd be surprised once you get to know me. You shouldn't have said no to pee. Yeah. Should have said no to pee. You'd be very surprised. Well, you said no to peeing, so if you don't want to get pissed on, she don't want to be with you. What do you like to do? I'm really into baking, oh. um, which is hilarious because I don't actually. This, looks, this girl looks so shy. Imagine she comes out of the gate just talking about poop kinks. Ooh. Oh. Um, which is hilarious because I don't actually like sweets that much. No, I feel the same way because sometimes I like try to pawn it off to my roommates. So, so do you, you still live with roommates then? I still live with roommates. Are you looking forward to having a place of your own? Um, I probably will stick with having roommates. You like, like roommates. I go a little crazy if I'm alone. But... I need an open area to perform all of my kinkish activities. I can't having I can't have you having roommates if we are getting down to the nitty gritty here. I need to have open uh, a acute uh, scenarios where I could possibly have tarps all along the walls in case things get a little gruesome. I don't want to live with that. They can't hear us doing the dirty. Hey buddy, I don't like roommates. Okay. I feel like such a bitch, like truly. Hi, I'm Reno. Hi, Reno. Fun fact about Reno, they like to step on their partners. Oh yeah, that's fun. You seem like also a kinky person. Is that a correct <laughs> read? I am. That is a big part of my life, but like I'm also interested in other things. What are you passionate about? I've kind of always wanted to be like a smoky jazz lounge singer. <laughs> Ooh. Can we hear you sing What a, a very specific dream. What a... What a very specific dream. I've always wanted to be a smoky jazz lounge singer. That is like, there's, how many smoky jazz lounges are there? Like, five? The stream's in 360p? Yeah, you gotta turn it to 1080p, pal. Belgian for the sub, Sateki for the four. Sorry for anybody that has to deal with this. F Cancer. D-Boy for the $20. Don't know, uh, F Cancer says I dislike Cancer. Gui for the 300 bitties. And TJ for the 300 bitties. Gloomy is Sunday, with shadows I spend it all. My heart and I have decided to end it all. That's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. I'm going to keep it real. I was expecting bad singing. Motherfucker say in my ears, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Dang. <laughs> that was pretty fucking good. Reno, are you attracted to Sid? Button, I don't know. Attraction's it's hard. Okay. It's okay. I want to be your friend. Okay. Really bad. <laughs> 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 what the fuck was that? What the hell was that? That was weird as fuck. <laughs> I want to be your friend. What the hell was that? <laughs> You're so fucking. Hit the button. Okay. <laughs> come here. Come here. This is literally the worst. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Do you smoke weed a lot? No. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, this is two inch. This is this is two inch on this show. Talking about buddy keeps asking where the poop kinks at. It's about to be two inch. Right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. You smoke? You smoke? No. You down to poop on people? No. Alright. Alright, All right, I'll remove myself. No. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like I'll do edibles. <laughs> I hope you find who you're looking for. You too. Yeah. That is kind of nuts, though, that he instantly denies somebody if they don't smoke weed. I'm going to say, like, coming from somebody that smokes weed, that's crazy.
That's actually, in my opinion, like, it, I mean, obviously, yeah, they should have to be okay with it. But, like, dude, they they don't smoke weed, so you're not, there's no chance you even like them. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? It's so good. <laughs> Do you like EDM? This is so important to me. I'm EDM? Sorry. Like yeah. music? Yeah. I think it's fun to dance to. Okay. Yeah. I hate it. Okay. <laughs> I hate okay. it so much. I mean, it's okay. not my favorite type of music, but I can dance to it. You're not one of those people that only listens to EDM? No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. I dare you to hold hands, look at each other, don't say a word for 20 seconds. As someone who's autistic, eye contact. Everyone is needs stoners and non stoners in their life. That's what I'm saying. You need an even mix. If everyone's a stoner, shit's ass. If everyone's not a stoner, shit's ass. And you need, uh, out of a friend group, out of a friend group, I'm not saying y'all right now, right? But when you're in like your 20s, like when you're my age, if, there's, if you have like a 10 person friend group, like three of them are stoners. And then the rest of the people, then you might, you probably have like one guy that drinks a lot. And then you have like the rest of people that are like, you know, normal. And <laughs> like normal people. Uh hard for me but okay. if you need to look away no okay. no i'm i'm open to trying hard things cool so. okay well, they oh, nice hands clock is starting i can't talk now this is mad weird how'd that feel Good. Very vulnerable, but nice. Very vulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I am not a person with autism, but like I have dated a lot of people with autism, okay. so it's really comforting to hear that actually. Yeah. Why shouldn't someone date you two? Uh, I'm too honest. It's really hard when like somebody's like, do you like these shoes? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that somebody- Is that really a red flag? Do you like this outfit? Hell no. Is that bad? Like, I think, yeah, there's some points where you just want to be, like, supportive and not be, like, dead honest. But, like, you don't want to be, like, fucking capping about everything. Hey, do I look good? And they look fucking terrible in that outfit? No. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that shit looks awful. Be looking to date me. Should to be most girls, that's bad. No, it's not. Well, to most girls, it's bad in the sense that, like... Like, you wouldn't want, like, I, I doubt any girl would want their boyfriend to lie to them and say the outfit looks good. They want them to say the outfit looks good and mean it. The question is affirmative, right? Like, when Brooke, like, when Brooke asks me if she thinks I, I like the outfit that, if Brooke asks me if I like the outfit that she has on, she wants my honest opinion, right? But some other women might just want you to say yes outside of your honest opinion because they want the affirmation that the outfit looks good, but they want you to believe it. They don't want you to say, no, the outfit doesn't look good, so, but they also don't want you to lie. They want you to say yes and mean it. Does that make sense? I am for the sub, dominator for the three. I was in class and set my uh, dunking black coffee on the desk. This kid came up and said, can I have this? Snatched it and took the lid off and gulped the whole thing. That is whack. Be aware of, like, my past and, like, yeah. what I've gone through. I mean, I have been in recovery for, like, multiple reasons, and I'm, I'm doing really well now. I was dealing with a pretty severe eating disorder um, that I was in recovery for about six months. And there are some other issues, too, that I've been dealing with, just drugs and not being nice to myself and... I don't know. It can be a lot for someone to handle. I don't want to be that guy. And it's good that they're getting through that. But now if they press the button, they seem like an asshole. Because if, you, if you're speed dating and I open up to you, about every single thing that has had that has happened to me and you're like ooh kind of thrown off by that and you don't want to deal with that and you press the button now you seem like a dickhead even though that's just you just not like there's nothing necessarily wrong with that yeah it's not 
like I I I I it it I I think they should be supportive of that individual, but it's like you don't have to want to be with them after that. Like it's your choice. Other issues too that I've been dealing with, just drugs and not being nice to myself, and I don't know. It can be a lot for someone to handle. I I mean, congratulations. First of all, I was never diagnosed with an eating disorder, but definitely have experienced some disordered eating. So that's not something that is like scary to me. Okay. Yeah. That's really good to hear. Describe the energy you both are feeling right now. I mean, I'm kind of nervous, but I feel like I'm able to be open with you yeah. and that you won't be too freaked out by anything that I'm about to say. What about you? I'm shaky. <laughs> me too, <laughs> me too. Well, I'm gonna say it right now, I don't think she wants to be there. I like, like when she, when the button lit up red, she like stared at it and then looked back up. Yeah, that girl was eyeing the button. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Do you see this? Yeah. So I'm gonna light up one more time. If you don't press me, I'm gonna consider it a match. There she goes. Uh, maybe they will work. <laughs> they did do that hold hand thing, and they stared at each other in the eyes, and it looked like they were, like, fucking looking at each other's souls and shit. <laughs> Turn off, Bad off. Well, damn. Woo! Yeah. All right. Woo! Woo! Next video. Uh, Zeph for the sub DJ for the three. I got banned from your Discord for uh, scamming. I sent Nitro Trial from Discord to Bobat. Uh, talk to my mods about it. Regular a rep for the sub. Uh, Dominator for the three. Uh, and Ghost for the three. You're my favorite content creator. I watch all your stuff and it makes me laugh all the time. It helps me with the hard times. I hope you're doing good. Have you? A Do you have any tips to grow on YouTube? Uh, start elsewhere and then build an audience uh, on YouTube to grow from that. Uh, also, quick shout for the gaming YouTube. Probably going to upload in like, uh, I don't know, two, three days or so. Um, already talked with Bobak. Clearly a scam. Uh, Smans for the 555. Uh, well, they're saying you scammed somebody, DJ. So uh, you got to talk to my mods about it. Anyways. Exclamation point gaming YouTube. Exclamation point gaming YouTube. Sub to the gaming YouTube. Gonna upload the first fucking uh, Last of Us part for the playthrough in a few days or so. All right. Uh, after this video, we'll shock on the Jeef. Girlfriend sleeps with a thousand black guys. You won't believe it. Uh, and then we got uh, like five, six more videos. Coming up and on tomorrow's like teachings. I don't. I honestly don't care. I don't even like him. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of using him until I find someone better. Oh yeah, I come from a very rich family. Ooh, okay, tell me more. Mom, I'm doing it. I'm gonna propose Yo, to are there people that actually act like that? Like if you pull, if you pull people by flaunting money, that is crazy. That is actually fucking crazy. My family's rich. What? Yo, why are they closing their eyes so far apart? You close your eyes right before, bro. What the hell? Fucking starting out fucking three feet away from each other with the eyes closed. You're going to miss. Hit their nose. I love you. I love you, too. Please don't leave. I don't want to. Then don't. Well, you know I have to. I'm going to miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. What am I supposed to do while you're gone? I don't know. Read? Bro, why are the actors always so fucking bad? Like, I so fucking bad, dude. Like, it just comes off so unnatural. In every way. You can volunteer at the school down the street. Babe, you already know how I feel about working. But it's not work, you're volunteering. That's the same thing. I don't want to work when I already know you can provide for me. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. You're right, baby. I love you, babe. Have a Wait, did she just say she ain't going to get a job because he can pay for everything? Already know how I feel about working. But it's not work. You're volunteering. That's the same thing. You already know how I feel about work? Bro, if I was date like, bro, if I was dating somebody and they were like, I don't want to work. Like, I'm going to say quick W, Brooke. Brooke's got initiative. Brooke wants to do things with her life. Have, have, a, have fucking career paths. Uh, accomplish things, right? If you ain't got no fucking motives, you got no dreams, no aspirations, no initiative, you just want somebody to pay for everything for you, 
whether you're a guy or a girl, you're uh, not going to find anybody other than maybe some old ass fucking man that's going to fucking be your uh, dumbass sugar daddy because ain't nobody wants to be with somebody uh, that is lazy as fuck and has no uh, possible motive to do anything at all. Uh, Pig said the reason uh, we believe it was a scam because it did not look like a Discord Nitro gift. Instead of being able to collect it through Discord, it was a link to Chroma. Instead of being one or uh, one month or one year, it was two weeks, which was uh, possible to be gift, which is which isn't possible to be gifted. Okay, DJ for the three. Can you sell Bobats on Block me to explain? Lex for the three inch mini says has anybody uh, been far even as decided to use to want what? Has anyone really been far even as decided to use even go want to look more like? Clouds for the sub. Has anyone really been far even as decided to use even go want to do look more like? I don't want to work when I already know you can provide for me. Yes. Yes, Yo, that's yes. fucking crazy how your dumb ass is going to be homeless in about, yay, two weeks because I'm going to break up with your dumb ass. Like, I'm literally not fucking dealing with that. Why is he okay with that? Oh, you're right, baby. And I know this is a fucking fake video, but like, Eddie, like, there's people that are okay with that. That's nuts. That is nuts. Them just mooching off of you forever. They never, like, I understand, like, every relationship most relationships aren't going to have a fucking flat even salary. Somebody's going to be making more than somebody else. Somebody might be buying more things than somebody else. But the fact that they have no money and they've never bought anything for, theirself, for themselves and they will never buy anything for themselves and they always use the other person's money, you are a parasite. You are a latched on brain slug that is mooching off of people instead of doing anything yourself. Love you, babe. Have a wonderful day at work. Okay, I have to go now. I'll make sure to write you. Goodbye. Bye. Unless you're a stay-at-home mom. Dude, raising kids is entirely different. I'm talking about they're dating, dude. They're not married with four kids. Yeah. Raising four kids is a fucking job. I'm not saying that's not. I'm saying they're dating. She's just sitting on her ass all day, every day. They're not raising anybody. They're not doing anything. They won't even volunteer. Shay for the 30. Lo uh, 30 to F cancer. Love what you're doing. Uh, thank you for helping raise money for a good cause. A lot of people are impacted by cancer. One of my customers I'm close with just told me last week that their two-year-old has leukemia. Their two-year-old? Oh, my God. Luckily, he's going into remission. Okay, well, that's good. Prayers to all the family struggles. Locks for the three-inch minis. Uh, all right, I read that one. And Shay, thank you for the 30. Damn. I love you. Yo, he ain't even saying that shit back. Two months later, dot, dot, dot. Are you sure your husband isn't going to be back? No, he's not coming back. Relax. He'll be gone for a year. Perfect. A year with you then. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Yo, and even on, even on this aspect, even on this aspect, I'm not trying to call homie a cuck, but like, buddy, you're, you're messing with a woman that's got a, a, a man, right? And... You're bitching about when the husband's going to come back. If they really wanted to be with you, they would break up with their fucking uh, boyfriend or husband. I love you. That is not what a cuck is. A cuck is a man that watches their wife have sex with another man. So actually, it would be the other guy. This guy wouldn't be a cuck. But he's kind of a, a, a reverse cuck in the sense that he's doing it with a woman that is acknowledging that she is sleeping with him, but also refusing to leave the husband. So, it's kind of really weird. If they really, dude, I didn't say wheelie. I said really. If they really, if they really, if they really, dude, it fucking flowed out of my mouth and y'all said, oh, really? Oh, really? I didn't, y'all acting like I said, oh, really? Oh, really? Like, really? I didn't say it like that. I, oh, whittlely. Whittlely. Like, I didn't say it like that, bro. Stop. I love you more. Why is Joe always talking about cucks? It's just kind of my go-to insult. 
Somebody redeemed Daisy's showcase. Ah! Anonymous for the ten dollar dono. Seeds for the two. Sorry for the confusing message. You're an amazing creator, uh, and what you're doing uh, has helped so many people. Uh, w all to the people who donated. Fuck cancer. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna finish this video, and then we'll do the Daisy showcase, and we'll shotgun the G Fuel thoughts. Because there's no point in me getting up yet. Uh, I'll finish the video and then I'll do it. Seeds for the two. Sorry for my last confusing message. You're an amazing creator. What you do has helped so many people. W to all the people who donated. I literally just read that. Babe, I'm home. Oh, he's back. Left the door unlocked, silly. Was he in crutches when he left? Bree, what is this? Ba babe, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? This is my home. Who is this? I'm I would be way more mad. Maybe act a little more angry, buddy. You just walked in on your wife fucking another man. I'd be screaming. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be way more mad. At both of them. I'm a new man. Is this true? Wait, wh what happened to you? I'm what, a new what? man. Is that true? All right. Yo, Dub. Yo, Dub. Yo, W, you two, get the fuck out of my goddamn house. You ain't pay the bills. You ain't, your name ain't in the fucking paper. You ain't had a job in 10 years, bitch. Get the fuck out of the fucking house. Uh, easy work. Okay, you're both together. Uh, haha, -ha, lovebirds. Uh, maybe clean off the bed sheets from all this whack shit that's been going on here while I'm gone. And get the fuck out. Why do you have crutches? Answer the question. Is it true? No! Get, get out of here! I thought you said you loved me. No, I never said that! Your homie is naked. Is this true? <laughs> no, oh no, oh no, oh, why are you in here? He's just kind of... It was just some random guy I don't even know. He just, he just came into the house and, and like, I woke up cuddling him. <laughs> Babe, are you okay? I'm fine. Yo, she really laughed at that. How could you, Bree? I fought for you. Everything I did was for you, and this is what you do to me in return? It's not yeah, this, this guy's not a good actor. My fault. I got lonely. I was only gone for two months. I lost my legs for you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I still love you. I don't know if I can. Let me take care of you. You need me. Please forgive me. I ain't need you at all! That's what I'ma say. I ain't need your dumb ass at all. About two months, I got lonely. So you started fucking random people? You ain't get a dog? You got lonely. Get a pet fish, bitch. What? Are you sure it was an accident? Yes, it was. I swear it will never, ever happen again. An accident? You... How was it an accident that you slept with somebody else? I love you too. I forgive you. <laughs> Oh my god, babe. Thank you. You won't regret this. People make mistakes in life. As long as you won't do it again, I can let it go. I love you. So he over it that quick? He over it that quick? Like, like that was like a five-minute conversation. Not even. So tell me what happened. And when do you recover? I actually won't recover. I got shot in my spinal cord and I lost all feeling in my legs. Oh, so what are you going to do for work now? I don't know. Maybe I'll get a job at the local grocery store to get started. Uh, oh, I mean, we just bought this house. We? 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 Who's we? Me. Going to be financially okay? Yes. I'll make sure of it. I love you. Yo, that's crazy if she still ain't get a job. Her fucking husband... Her husband loses his legs in, in war. And she still won't get a job. And she's still gonna make that motherfucker get, work 50-hour work weeks. 
<laughs> to, to provide for the family and pay the 30-year mortgage off. She's still not going to get a job. You said that we had money and that we would be okay. We are going to be okay. No, we're not. We're broke. I'm going to get another job, but it would help if you got a job too, Bree. What? Who do you think I am? I'm your girlfriend and I shouldn't even be working at all. But it would help with all the payments we have, especially yours, all the expensive clothes and the jewelry. You know what? I don't think this Bro, is- Bro, I don't want to say it like, like, ugh. I would get somebody not wanting to work if they were able to like travel and do things all the time. But would y'all want to be like a stay at home wife or husband with no kids if all you could do all day was sit at home? Your life is meaningless. <laughs> like actually meaningless. Like you have no purpose at that point. All you do is sit at home, maybe go to the gym, go home and watch a movie and then sit and do nothing, right? If you have kids, that's different. You raise kids, right? That's your purpose. But if you're like, you're not traveling, you're not going anywhere, you just, you're just uh, somebody that's at home all day. Like, I would be so fucking bored. Svedson for the 30 says L cancer. W for the fucking $30 donut F cancer. Fall for the five. O block for the three inch bitties. I have my DMT pen instead of my weed pen. Is there any way of bringing down my high trip because my parents are coming home soon? No way you're typing a fucking, a fucking bit dono high on DMT. Dude, I've never done DMT. I know about dimethyltryptamine, but, um, like, I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I can help you. I, I'm, is it, I'm assuming DMT isn't going to last that long, but, like, still, bro. I think you just gotta wait it out. Go act like you're taking a shit. What is DMT? Dimethyltryptamine. It's like one of the most potent hallucinogenics. Siege Man for the two. Uh, to F cancer. Anonymous for the 10. Wing for the three inch bitties. My grandma died from cancer a few days ago. Her treatment stopped working. She was slowly getting weaker. It's been hard on my family. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it makes me happy seeing you uh, encouraging donations to cancer charities. Thank you for that. No problem. Uh, and thank you for the fucking three inch bitties. Maniac for the five. Uh, I think they scripted it in the uh, middle of the shooting. They switched between dating and married like three times. Really? Uh, and for the DMT guy, uh, go act like you're pooping. Just go lock yourself in the bathroom and say you're taking a shit. And then if like uh, if you you're still tripping, uh, flush the toilet and turn on the shower for like ten minutes, and then turn it off. You 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 got like an hour of you got an hour of leeway time, right? Uh, and for the next time, don't hit a DMT pen, buddy. How do you mix that up? You ain't, you just have your weed cart and your fucking trippy DMT cart right next to each other? You ain't fucking, you ain't fucking making sure you're not hitting the wrong thing before you fucking rip it? You're not, you're not like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm not even gonna check. Uh, oh, shit. And now you're seeing some fucking genie. Star K for the sub. Kenzie for the three. Uh, I'm running a TV uh, series script for the inspiration of the game Life is Strange. And I hope uh, to either produce or direct it. Can you give me some advice on what I can do to improve? I've never played the game, so I don't really think I could. Uh, I never played Life is Strange. I know what's it about. I, I know what it is about, but I've never played it. So that's in for the 10 to F cancer. It's going to work out. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. I'll work oh my god, he accidentally hits a blinker on a DMT pen. Lock back in. Time and double shifts for you. Good. Speaking of work, I have to go now. Bye, I love you. If neither of his legs worked, wouldn't he get a wheelchair? Or am I stupid? Like, neither of his legs worked. They can't afford that. Dude, they live in, like, a fucking $200,000 house. Wouldn't insurance pay for the... I'm pretty sure the military would pay for your wheelchair. 
Hey, my stupid boyfriend's finally gone. You should come on over. That's fucking crazy. One month later. Wait, 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 guys, we'll get right back to the story. But first, we have a very important announcement to make. Tomorrow's Teachings finally has merch. You can get a t-shirt just like this one, or we have hoodies in. stock so get this awesome i love you and down below or in the description let's get back to the video i love you i love you too why don't you move in with me why would i move in with you Yo, when she i'm just, she just using i love you like it's like like it's goddamn fucking anything she's saying i love you like it's nothing you said i love you to three different motherfuckers in three months wow being in this beautiful house for free I'm sorry, but you're broke, and my boyfriend pays everything for me. Sorry, but no. Well, I feel bad for him. I mean, he served our country, and he lost his legs. Then I why are you, uh, fucking his girlfriend? Um, uh, that doesn't make sense. Don't. Hmm. I honestly don't care. I don't even like him. I don't know if you've noticed, but... I'm kind of using him until I find I him. hope this video ends with her, her losing her legs. I hope this video ends with her, her getting something wrong with her spinal cord. And then she has to be in a fucking wheelchair, too. One better. Sucks to be him. But what if I told you that you're looking at a very filthy rich man? I am? Oh, yeah. I come from a very rich family. Ooh, okay. Tell me more. Tell Mama. me more. I've never, I've never made any wealth myself. Hmm. <clears throat> tell me more. <laughs> I've inherited all of my wealth through generations of one, of one really hardworking individual that got pretty lucky as well. And none of my family has worked for the last five generations. Hmm. <clears throat> tell me more. <laughs> I dropped out of high school and I got a 700 on the SAT, but I have a fucking trust fund of $10 million that I plan on blowing within the next 10 years and not transferring any of that money to my children. Mmm, <laughs> tell me more. I'm doing it. I'm gonna propose to I'm it. gonna ruin the wealth of my family for generations by, by not financially, by not being financially responsible and putting the money into an investment portfolio. Tell me more. I just bought a $50,000 Rolex and I plan on taking 10 flight, 10 private jet flights for fucking one hour across states and just blowing the money like it's fucking blowing my own nose when I have allergies. I know, but it was an accident. It doesn't matter. What matters is I love her and she loves me. Okay, okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna do it. Goodbye. Yo, he really got the whole ass button fucking uh, pull off. Yo, that's how you know you business up front. But he ain't got one of the buttons unbuttoned. Goodbye. See, like, why are they why are they closing their eyes so far apart? What the fuck? Like, you're not gonna accurately kiss one another. Who is he? It's over. It's it's over, loser. Loser. I found someone more attractive with more money and has legs. But I loved you. How could you? <laughs> Grow up. I was just using you. Sorry, man. The game is fierce. The winners win and the losers lose. How long have you been doing this for? You know, that's how. That's crazy. How we're in the state of Texas with the stand your ground law. Bang bang. <laughs> that's crazy. How I didn't welcome you into this house. Bang bang. That's crazy how we live in Texas. Ever since I met you. You're in my house. I didn't welcome you into my house. She has no say on whether or not somebody comes in. Every time you'd leave, I'd get lonely and I'd call up another guy and have him come over and please. She's going to get super AIDS. That's going to be the end of the video. She's going to have sex with so many men that she is fucking super AIDS. How many guys? I don't know, like a thousand. A thousand? A thousand? <laughs> That's not the point. I found she just swells up like a fucking, she just swells up like a balloon right now. Her whole body turns red. It just puffs out. She's every STD known to man. One better. 
more money, more attractive, and can treat me right. I'm actually sorry. A thousand guys? I don't want to be with you anymore. Hey, 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 wait. A thousand guys. Yo, that shit's got to be loose. That shit's <laughs> got to be loose, bro. I was lying. I'm broke. Damn, he was capping too. He ain't got no money. Somebody said, bro, what? You have a girlfriend. Like, like, like people, whenever I, if I talk about another, uh, another person, right? That is a, uh, what do you mean, bro, what? You have a girlfriend. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying, I don't think she's attractive at all. I'm not, I was making fun of the fucking situation. Bro, what? You have a girlfriend. Yeah. My girlfriend would kick my ass if I said that. Said what? Said what? What did I say that was that was rude? That it's loose because she's had sex with a thousand guys? Dude, I don't give a fuck what somebody's body count is. I'm not I'm not pressing somebody about their body count. A thousand men within three months. Do the math. My girlfriend would kick my ass if I said that. Said what? You sound triggered. Because people will be like, oh, your girlfriend don't care? About what? Did I say something bad, chat? Ty Karras for the 500 pennies. I'm sorry if that was rude, but I mean she's cheating on her husband. And she's had sex with a thousand men within three months. I don't think that's rude. I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's rude to say. If somebody has a body count that's high, good for you. I don't care. That's on you. That's your life, right? That's not I'm not judging anybody for that. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, women are aren't allowed to have high body counts, but men are. Dude, if a man had a thousand bodies, I'd think that shit was fucking whack too. And then Kebab said. My B bro didn't mean it like that. You said that's crazy. My girlfriend would kick my ass. For what? Like, what are you saying my girlfriend would kick my ass for? What did I say that was wrong? Shay for the thousand biddies. Been watching you for almost a year now. Happy uh, I've seen you uh, and your following grow. You've helped me a lot through some of the hard times, including myself. It's a great part to be a part of the community. Dub, Tiger Ross for the 500 biddies. Why are you looking at other girls? You have a girlfriend. Svedson for the 20 to F cancer. My wallet is beginning to say no, but it's for a good cause. L fucking cancer. Dub Svedson for the $20 dono. I appreciate the fucking donos, bro. Rexamy for the th uh, for the one. Uh, I lost a friend to cancer recently. It's tough to know. Uh, that's what cancer does. Fuck cancer. <gasps> Cuban for the sub. Uh, care for the sub. Haunted for the 50. Haunted for the $50 dono to F cancer. My grandpa just got diagnosed with prostate cancer. It's been hard on me and my family, so thank you for everything that you do. I'm sorry that your grandpa got diagnosed with prostate cancer. I hope everything goes well. Lex for the three, or Lack for the three, and Svetson for the ten, Kenzie for the three and No, but like genuinely to my chat, if I said something that was like rude, I, that's my bad. But like, Brooke would not care that I made a comment about a woman saying I I think they would have STDs if they slept with a thousand men. My B, I didn't mean it like that for saying that joke, for saying the joke that it would be loose. Yeah, I mean, maybe that was a bit too far. Was that too far, chat? Maybe that was a bit too far of a joke. But, like, dude, a thousand people in three months? That's not even possible. Like, I knew people in my life that had, like, 90 bodies. I didn't judge them. Good for you. It's your life. A thousand in three months. Man, woman, whoever. That's whack. A thousand fucking people in three months. Dude, all you're doing all day is is, is doing it. Wow, woo for the three inch biddies. My geometry teacher has three DUIs. Lovely. How was that joke messed up though? I feel bad now. Like, what was it? Was that joke rude? I won't make that joke anymore if it was rude. I I don't think it was rude though. Do this to me after all I did for you. Um. 
I'm sorry, I guess. Can you forgive me? I forgave you once. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. And plus, I was gonna tell you, I won the lottery today. What? You you did? Yeah, Why is she grabbing I his chest? I bought you diamond ring. But I'm glad this happened. You don't deserve me or anyone at all. I'm sorry. Get out of my house now. I'm sorry, but no, <laughs> no. Um, how is anyone gonna know that I'm not your wife? I mean, you just proposed to me. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. Well, how is anybody gonna know that when you're dead? Dead? What are you talking about? Also, if you propose to somebody, I don't think that carries over. Like, if you, if I propose to Brooke, and we weren't married yet, and I died, she wouldn't get my shit. Am I wrong? Like, you have to have concrete marriage. You don't just get stuff from a proposal. Because there's that's not, that's not legally binding in any way. That's just an engagement. What I mean is that my lovely boyfriend... She's going to kill him. ...went off to the military, lost his legs, and then decided he was so madly in love with me... We got married, and he had a heart attack, and died, and I took all his money. How do you expect me to have a heart attack? Like this. And I go, and I go like this. And I bite her fucking fingers off. And I bite her fucking fingers off. Like, you really, bro, just close, like, bro, what? Like, you just not swallow that shit. Yeah, whack her! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, there we fucking go. Oh, there we fucking go. I love that. I love that. You know, I'd slide homie 10K. I'd slide homie 10K for right right now for that. I'd, I'd fucking sue the shit out of this lady. I'd sue the shit out of this lady. Damn! Dropped her ass. Hey, man, are you okay? Yeah, how'd you know she was gonna do that? Well, actually, I forgot my wallet on the table and I overheard everything. Thanks, I appreciate it. No worries. I know what I did was wrong, but man, you don't deserve that. I'm gonna go call the cops. Eventually, the police came and arrested Bree for attempted- Eventually, the police came and arrested Bree for first-degree attempted murder. Later on, Later on, he ended up getting he ended up getting a million dollar per year job.
Why are y'all spamming for free, bro? Stop. A lion for the 300 bitties. You need to raid Skeets after the stream. I swore on my mother's life. Ple pretty please. What do you mean, swore on my mother's life? And who is Skeets? Svetson for the 300 bitties. All right. We're going to attempt to shotgun the... Oh, I got to... My camera's all fucked up. Exclamation point G fuel code Joby. 20% off. Oh, God. This might fucking explode. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, Jesus. Dude, fucking cutting open these G Fuel bottles is, like, damn near impossible. Okay. Are y'all ready? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so busy. Oh. Why was bro making out with it? I wasn't making out with it, bro. Oh my God, dude. Wow, that was rough. I hope that was one of the 140 milligram ones. <laughs> Should I check? Hold on. Oh, thank God. Thank God, chat. If that was a 300 milligram one, that would have been fucking rough. That was a 140. If that was 300, I would have been fucking shaking. All right, we're good. Uh, uh, Lil J for the three Would you ever play Dead Island Two? Would y'all want me to play Dead Island Two one day? Tiger Ross for the fifteen hundred bitties. Your content, this community has been very entertaining for me. I'd like to thank everybody and show support to the stream when I can. And WG Fuel Code, W Message, and thank you Tiger Ross for the fucking fifteen hundred bitties. Robert for the ten. My auntie passed from gallbladder cancer last year. Went through a rough spot for a while, but we go on. M Marmarian for the three hundred bitties. Why is your dog shaved? Because it gets hot. And she gets a really big coat, so then she can just run around and, like, chill outside. Asks for the sub. Uh, and I'm sorry your aunt passed away, Romper. Oh, my God. Sorry I'm fucking talking all slow. I'm trying to not fucking regurgitate the, <clears throat> the G fuel I just slugged. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh, my God. Okay, can we lock back in? Quick update on the, on the charity check. We are at $1,741.21. Factor in uh, that I have to do, um, what was it, $115 dollar demo? I'll probably just do around $200. Uh, I'll get us to like $2K if we don't reach it, uh, whatever that'll be. Uh, but yeah, all right. Lock back in. Uh, I crashed a uh, eggplant riding class, Jadeon. Should I scan this video? Okay. It looks fine. It looks fine. Oh, Jadeon made a rumble. When the fuck did Jadeon make a rumble? My god, I forgot that was a fucking platform. Alright, Negroes. I don't know if you guys seen this thing. Oh god. I'll, I'll, I'll rip. Off oh, rip. Okay. I think that's allowed on Twitch. We're good. But on all over Instagram, there's this thing called Writing for Rookies. It's this lady. She made a class where she teaches grown women how to ride eggplant emoji look at this <laughs>
So I thought of a funny ass idea where I bought three tickets. One for me, I bought a ticket for Vito. Now we gotta pick up our girl. Hey, excuse me, do you guys do fill ups here? I'm running on a flat. You think I get some air? I took her to Pound Town this morning. Oh. Do you think you just fill up Samantha for me real quick? You got something to fill that up with? I'm running on a flat right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I got something. Thank you. Okay, baby. Oh God, can I don't think I can show that. Is that a blow up doll? Okay, no, he blurs it. Perfect. Thank you, sir. I could have done it without you. <laughs> By any chance, do you want first dibs? <laughs> first dibs. Yeah, I sure, I won't take your woman from me. Oh, bro, we'd love to share. <laughs> She's like an appetizer, you know? She's for the team. <laughs> do you know where the petite section is? Uh, right upstairs or something like that. I'm sorry. What are you looking for, baby? Bro, he I brought that into a mall. He brought that into a mall. Is he? Yeah, I understand that, babe, but you're gonna be getting a workout in, so you know, you gotta put on like some workout clothes. Oh, I really like this top right here. Yeah. He is banned. Who is banned? Jadeon? Am I not allowed to show this video on? I'm not allowed to watch his videos because he's banned on Twitch. Didn't other people watch Jadeon? I don't. I think you're still allowed to watch it. He's banned just because he's banned on Twitch doesn't mean I'm not allowed to watch his videos. You can't stream with him. You're not allowed to stream with him. I think you can still watch his shit. I'm going to fast forward through this. I'm going to wait until he gets addressed. Okay, now we can... Oh, God. Dude, I don't know if I could show this video. <laughs> Chat, we might have to skip this vid. In all honesty, we might have to skip this video. Because he has, he has the doll with him the entirety of the video. Uh, I, yeah, we might have to move on. No, dude, I ha, I might have to. Don't skip it. He blurs it. Regular bitches wear. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Can I ask you a question? Does this make my butt look big? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, this is Samantha. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna have her out too much longer. I don't see what the problem is now. She's literally dressed up. And the sad thing about it is this is what regular bitches wear on the daily. And they have a problem with this. Okay, I'm ready to check out. <laughs> Sir, I got my double D sitting on the counter. Can't control that. Oh! Can I talk to the manager? Ma'am, did you not just see that? I was just sexually assaulted. All right, here, babe. They're going to take you, okay? As long as that douchebag doesn't touch me. Yo, bro, just don't touch her, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I see my girl back? No way. Hey, what's good, buddy? How you doing? Bro, what the heck? Hey, well, can you calm down? I'm with my girl, bro. Like, oh. chill. Like, don't do too much, okay? Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, of course. My boss just said from the bro, that people. cut, though. I don't like that cut, bro. Like, why is that a popular haircut now? I'm not with my girl, bro. Like, oh. chill. Like, don't do too much, okay? Like, it just looks like you mangled it. <laughs> yeah, like, it just looks mangled, bro. And I'm not sitting here like my hair's good, bro. But, like, damn, dude. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, of course. My boss just said why did something happen? Oh, they're coming for you, right? Yeah, maybe, but like, cause you sexually assaulted my girl. Thank you so much, baby. Oh, no problem. Oh no, mall. Oh no, mall security's on its way. Have y'all ever gotten into an argument with a mall security guard? It's so fucking annoying. Like, I'm not making fun of all mall security guards, but every interaction I've ever had with a mall security guard, it's like they realize they have such little power. So the, the power they do have, they enforce like they're a fucking dictator. I want, did I tell y'all about, I mean, I got karma because of this. Did I tell y'all about the story where I ran down an elevator that was, uh, or an escalator that was moving up and then a mall security guard started fucking screaming at me and I basically was like, bro, it's not that serious. And then he got mad as fuck and walked away. He was like, you know, I could ban you from here. I said, oh no. Oh, no, you're going to ban me. And then I got a flat tire. Or not, no, I didn't get a flat tire. Then my engine started smoking on the way home. So, you know, maybe I shouldn't have pissed off the mall security guard because on the way back, uh, my engine started smoking and I had to pull over and then I had to fix my engine. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a whole fight. It was a terrible night after that. But, dude, it was because the, the, escal the escalator going down wasn't working. And I was like, I'm not walking all the way across the mall to walk down the stairs. I'm running down this escalator moving up. 
and Brooke was with me, and then he started yelling at me, and he was like, and then he uh, he told Brooke, he said, what if you damaged your beautiful face? Like, homie's weird as fuck. Like, yo, what if you fell and, and hurt yourself? I said, he said that to me. He said, what if you fell and hurt yourself? I said, then I would have hurt myself. I was like, I'm not sitting. Like, he was acting like I would try and sue the mall. And that would be his fault. Like, dude, if I fell down an escalator going up and broke both of my legs, that's on me. <laughs> like, like, I'm not going to be like, Oh, they, the mall, oh, the mall didn't provide accurate protection for my, for my safety. Like, no fucking shit. He's just doing his job. No, he was yelling at me. He wouldn't let me leave either. And then he followed me all the way out, like in the parking lot. Just doing his job, dude. Like, I don't think they get paid enough to bitch that much. You know what I mean? Like, if you're a mall security guard, like, yo, I understand he's doing his job. He could have just told me, hey, don't do that. That's what I would have done. Don't do that again. That's dumb. Okay, sir, sorry. He started yelling at me and following me. Oh, my bad. I got wrapped up. My bad. I'm sorry about that. Hey, excuse me, my friend. Is it cool if you take a picture for me? Look at my baby right Can you just take a quick picture real quick? Oh, wait, what's the... What you gonna put me on, man? No, this is for me and my girl. Oh, oh, all right. Take y'all a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all, yeah, it's cute. That interracial love. Yeah, I love it. If it ain't snowing, I ain't going. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my God. Can he stop bringing this everywhere, please, bro? Just get to the part where he gets to the fucking... Oh, God, he's at a movie theater. Excuse me, everybody in the BJ's, can I get you guys' attention real quick? Oh my god. I just want to let you guys know, Stop. me and Samantha Stop. are engaged. Stop. We're engaged. You're also leaving. You don't have to pay. I got you. Well, I got to tip Brody. You can go. Excellent. But I, I got to tip him. I'll take care of him. Go. But I got to give him the tip, bro. You don't have to. I go. have to give him the tip. No, you don't. Go. Well, can I get my food in a... Hella mad, bro. Like, yeah, if that was my restaurant, I'd be like, bro, stop bringing a sex doll into the place. Maybe stop him when he gets in the building, you stupid fuck. Why are you gonna complain? Like, you really acting mad when homie comes in and stands on the table and starts talking about his sex doll when you could have said something when he walked through the door with a fucking sex doll, dude. Like, you could have been mad then. Now you're shocked that he stood on the table and did something outlandish. Like, you really didn't expect that. Gav for the fucking five gifted subs. Safety for the ten. Uh, to F Cancer. Hey, Joe, love watching your streams all the time. I want to say F Cancer. Dev, tie for the sign. Uh, uh, tie for the sub and Gav for the fucking uh, five jibbities. Can you unban? Unban who? Yes, for the sub. Uh, and DJ said, I got unbanned. Meg for the three. Uh, are you going to do a G Fuel tier list one day? I probably will. Uh, I don't know when, though. The names for the three jibbities. Been watching your stream for the past couple months. Uh, Dub King for the thousand biddies. First, I wanted to say you're one of my favorite streamers and YouTubers. Thank you for all the happiness you give us. Uh, also, F Cancer. Dub. Unknown and Big Boy for the sub. To go box? You cannot. Go. Sir, why are you being so rude to us? I don't know. That'll make good content, right? Go. I mean, we can make good content if you want. At least you don't have to worry about her talking back. Exactly. <laughs> now you get it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ah, uh, boys, man, I'm not gonna even cap for like 30 minutes late. You can never be Yo, too late. Yo, this G fuel starting to hit me right now. You know when you fucking drank so much caffeine so fast? Whoa. Whoa. I feel like I could rip a tree out of the ground right now. I feel like I could fucking, like, rip a semi-small tree right out of the fucking ground by its roots. Like, I have superhuman strength. Late to learn how to ride some dick. Oh, hopefully we can still make it to class. Oh, they're, they're going at it. I don't know what's going on, but I see movement. Wait a minute, go back. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing great. How you doing? What's your name? Demarcus Cena. Okay. Are you straight? Huh? Are you straight? Uh, no. You can come in the class, but I, you can't record. Okay. Where's the other person that's coming? Oh, it's us three. Oh, you paid for a ticket for this? I had to. She's not very good at this, so I just want to get her some practice. Okay. Oh. 
How you doing? Who is this person? This is Samantha. Samantha. Yeah, okay. she's not gonna run it. She's not gonna run it. So you're gonna see Samantha? I mean, you're gonna see Samantha. Okay, and who's this person? Oh, this is Victoria. It's a three way partnership. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. We're like a triple tag team. They had a blur that? Yo, I can't show this. I can't show this. I can't show this on stream. I know I can't. I, I'm, I'm skipping that. I'm skipping that. Oh, they get kicked out. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. We only get on the left when they You have to be a homosexual organ. Can I get my car? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, they kicked him out because he's he. They said he was a homosexual. Gotta call the police. My bad, my bad. Back up and get out. All right, all right, let's go to the We literally drove three hours. <laughs> they like that. Put a ride right dick right now! I want to ride some dick! <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Yeah. That's what they say we like sexually harassed them or something. No, like facts. Was that worth driving three hours? They drove Hello. three hours to go to that class for ten minutes. Also, who the hell would attend that class? Oh. Aren't you famous? Huh? Aren't you famous? Oh. Uh. I mean, we make a couple Applebee's TikToks and stuff. An Olive Garden. They're pulling up to an Olive Garden with a fucking sex doll. <laughs> Bro, and they ain't saying anything. I feel like out of all places, Olive Garden would not let you in. My name is Marques Brownlee. Can I take a I mean, yeah. As long as my girl can be in it. Yeah. Okay. You can't touch me and my girl. She's like hella jealous. Please do not touch her. her Thank you, girl. Appreciate that. Babe, you look so good. Oh, thank you so much. All right, I'm done with this video. We're moving on. We're moving on. I'm getting out of that. Holy fuck. Okay. Next vid. Jesus Christ. Redneck and Kamuni for the sub. Uh, Dogface for the sub. Cupid for the five inch biddies. Willie, unknown uh, for the sub as well. Uh, Dono update. We're at $1,751 to F cancer. Uh, I snuck into a cult. Uh, by Anthpo. I didn't know I didn't sub to him. Uh, also, also, key update here. Key fun fact. Anthpo. Also, one of the only TikTokers that I know that successfully went to YouTube in long form, not short form. Is a cult. What is a cult? You don't need to answer that question because I already know. I joined one. You saw the title of this video. You I've always wanted to see what a cult would look like from the inside. Like, personally, like, if I could join... Okay, would y'all join a cult? Not to be in the cult, but just to see what it's like. You know what I mean? I Like, just for a day, you know, pull up to a crazy-ass cult and be like, all right, I'm gonna join just to witness what the fuck goes on down here, right? I'll be like, oh, that's an exaggeration. No. If you've been following my videos for the past month, you know that I've been uploading a series where I went on a van trip with my friends Zara, Aiden, Janice, and Paul. Before I tell you this story, let's get on the same page How about- How do you join a cult? Like, I feel like normally they reach out to you. Do you can you reach out to a cult and be like, hey, can I, can I join? what a cult is. First of all, most cults have one leader, a person that all the money gets funneled to, because most of the time when you're starting a cult, it's for the money. A lot of cults also have a doomsday clause to it, which is like, hey, the world's gonna end and you're on the wrong side of it. So that's why a lot of cults end up mass unaliving themselves. You probably have heard of the drinking- Well, many, like there's, there's many crazy cults, but it's also to be noted that like, most religions started as cults, right? Because a cult generally would just have a charismatic leader and a small group following of, like, outlandish ideas at the time, right? Like, most, like, I, I, I want to actually look that up. But there are some cults. All religions begin as cults. A cult is a term that doesn't refer to a religion at all, but a, uh, an, is applied to a social movement. 
I'm going to look up cult definition. A system of religious veneration and devotion directed towards a particular a figure or object. But it's usually a small group with a charismatic leader that may or may not manipulate the people uh, involved for money, sexual activity, or other things. All right. The Kool-Aid story or the children of God or the angels landing, but I'm not sure you've heard of the 12 tribes. Let me start where we started, though. I have this friend named who said he had visited a cult before. And I was like, oh, no, you haven't. He had. A year ago, me and my two friends decided to go up to Vermont for a snowboarding trip. And by the time we get there, it's like maybe 11 at night. So we were really hungry. My friend- Why are they blurring his face? Like, are the people in the cult gonna kill him or some shit? Like, is that actually a worry? Like, if I, if, if I met somebody that was in a cult, like, would I actually be worried they would fucking murder me? Probably they would send a hitman. Would they really? I mean, it depends what cult. That's what I'm saying too. Like the I when most people hear cult, they think of like the Kool Aid issue and all the things where people are like mass killing themselves. But like cults don't always categorize as like something. Oh, this is fucking awful. Like a general cult could not be ill minded and then grow into a a, a, a designated religion. But most cults today are usually manipulative. So that's why you get that idea of like, oh, cult equals people killing themselves uh, and being manipulated into doing so. This one place called what is the Kool-Aid thing? What was the name of that? Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid cult. Uh, the Kool-Aid cult uh, was in Jonestown by James Warren Jones, Jim Jones, Reverend Jim Jones. Uh, who was an American preacher who led a mass murder in a doomsday cult between 1955 and 1975, where 900 members took their own lives. Called the Yellow Deli. And they gave us, like, free tea to start. They, like, you know, they warmed us up, like, oh, where'd you come from, blah, blah, blah. And so at this point, I'm like, hold up. The customer service is great. The food is great. The decor is great. Where's the catch here? While I was going to the bathroom, I saw this restaurant had free calendars. And on the calendar, it said, a new day is coming. Join the revolution. I was like, for a deli? Like, this is a huge <laughs> operation, bro. <laughs> for a deli. Like, I started asking questions. They were like, what do you guys do? Like, what is this place? We're called the 12 tribes of Israel. We believe in Yahshua. When we join the community, everyone changes their names. So we all get Hebrew names. I knew this guy was on some shit, so I was like, let's, ask, let's actually get into something interesting. So I was like, what is your stance on vaccines? <laughs> <laughs> Out of the blue, that's the first thing you ask somebody? You think they're in a cult? What do you think about vaccines? You just start asking them every fucking possible, uh, like, whack-ass question where somebody would be pissed. One of my friends just texted in the group chat saying, who's bringing the Marlboro Reds tonight? You are out of your goddamn mind, buddy. <laughs> and he said it's an act of Satan. <laughs> the 12 Tribes was founded by Elder Do it? Yo, you're actually nuts if you think I would smoke a cigarette. ...in 1972. It originally started because him as well... Do you actually have cancer? Yo, like, do you look into things more than, like, three seconds, bro? I'm doing an F cancer charity stream, right? I'm doing an F cancer charity stream. I was not saying I have cancer. I was saying I'm, I'm doing a charity stream for F cancer. Justin for the 10 to F cancer. F cancer, love watching you, Joe. Thank you. It's a charity organization. Other hippies were upset that the hippie movement sucked. The 12 tribes is very secretive. A couple YouTubers have infiltrated it only as of recently, but they hide everything about the 12 tribes behind the Yellow Deli. Because the Yellow Deli is this phenomenal restaurant, but the 12 tribes is the cult. The Yellow Deli has over 3,000 members worldwide and locations from New York all the way to Japan and Australia. And 50 years later, only really as of recent, the 12 tribes have been making a lot of headlines. Headlines about child abuse. Headlines about hating all gay people. Headlines about uh, them sacrificing 144,000 virgins. 
But no way. That couldn't be true. I needed to figure it out. Sacrificing 144,000 virgins. They don't even have that many members. For myself. There happened to be a yellow deli on our way to upstate New York when we were hunting Bigfoot, and so we stopped by. What they casually throwing in. Oh yeah, when we were trying to find Bigfoot. There was a super creepy old lady who spoke like this. We live together and share everything in common. Oh, really? Mm. We raise our children together. And immediately I was like, yeah, this is probably a cult, but I have no freaking way of knowing that for sure. We took a bunch of their pamphlets and materials and we ordered, quite frankly, the most delicious food I've ever tasted in my entire life. I downed that food so fast, I didn't even like consider that it could be poisoned. Yeah, I was gonna say, bro, they down the food, they wake up three days later in a fucking haze. They wake up three days later in a haze with a fucking brand on their arm. <laughs> and now they're, they're for some reason, really fond of this cult. For some reason, they really want to be in this cult. It wasn't, but I'm saying, like, I had- Joe, you promised you would raid bed skeets after stream. Chat, did I promise I would raid bed skeets after stream? I said, maybe, I'll see. I never promised jack shit about raiding anyone that you told me to raid, and that is on fucking God, dude. Pull up a clip of me saying I fucking, I promised to raid them. I never said that. Never said that. Justin for the 10. The fact that you said that makes me not want to raid them now. So now I probably won't, right? Like, I, I love when people ask me, like, to raid people, but, like, don't, like, you're saying I made a promise that I didn't make. No cares in the world. Anyways, that night we... Debrief time. <laughs> what do you guys think of the Yellow Deli? It was definitely a cult. She seemed nice, but it was also really scary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good name. Oh, it's so nice to meet you guys. And then as we were about to leave New York, we stopped by another Yellow Deli location. They're everywhere. The big secret they're hiding is like what goes on intricately like with the community. What's in the center of a fucking thingy? Who's in there? What are they doing in there? Tomorrow, going to this other Yellow Deli might be our best chance at getting a sit down interview with them. At the second location, we had a plan. We cut open a bee pillow pet and turned it into a makeshift spy camera. Scalpel. <laughs> Why would you bring a bee pillow pet to to a fucking deli. Am I wrong in saying that's so sus? I have that exact pillow. I had one of these uh, that was like a lion or some shit. <laughs> Bro got his feet blurred. Where? Oh, wow. He actually did blur his feet. That is nuts. You mean children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it'll work. I think it will work. This obviously didn't work, but we tried it anyways. <laughs> Right before we headed in, a Yellow Deli employee started banging on our van window. Uh, you ever been in the Yellow Deli? I have no, not. Yeah. No. Oh, you gotta come in and see our artwork. Yeah. We were just about to try to find somewhere to eat. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, get in the right place. Come up and see us. That was terrifying, but despite that, we headed in. Yo, I'm gonna just stroll in there and say, yo, how do I join y'all? Like, like, are they really gonna be sussed out by me? Hey, I really like your food. I like your vibe. How do I join? I feel like they would just let me in, right? Like, is it that hard to join a cult? Don't they want new members? That's how you're going to get killed. Dude, that guy doesn't look like he would kill me. It, I will say they don't, they look pretty sus pulling up in a fucking mystery van like Scooby-Doo and the goddamn crew. That was uneventful. It was kind of just like good food, but we got invited to come back. <laughs> so yeah, they invited us back for dinner that night alone, privately, and we didn't have like any spy equipment. So I rush ordered a little spy camera, like a pen that I put in my little pocket. It was really shitty. So we're stopping at. I would kind of be nervous though. I would kind of be nervous though. You're gonna go talk to members of a cult and try and like like fucking learn shit about them. Oh my God, would y'all be nervous? I would be fucking red. I'd be shaking. This library to uh, figure out what our Even if they're not scary, I feel like I don't want them to know that I'm like spying. The we'll plan is for tonight because we can't just go in and not have a plan to, you know, get the content. Okay, I think it's recording right now. I thought you didn't believe in God, Joe. 
When did I say anything about believing or not believing in God just now? Did I? I thought you didn't believe in God. What? Oh, because I said, oh my God. That's just a, ter a use of, of fucking wording. You said on God. Me saying on God does not indicate that I believe in God. Me, me saying on God means I'm serious. That's on God. I might believe in a necessary being if you're asking me if I believe. When, when, when you say, oh, I thought you didn't believe in God, you're saying, like, yeah, I'm not a Christian anymore in that sense. Tori for the two. My grandma had melanoma. Thankfully, she got past it. Well, that's good. Lopex for the three. Can't donate to have cancer because I'm not 18. Don't worry. I'm allowed. Uh, thanks for all you do. Uh, you mean a lot. So many people uh, keep up the great content. Thank you. Testing. Say something. Hey, so I beat my children every day of my life, and I'm virgin. The plan was perfect. Right. Dan, did you explain what's going on? All right, so we're about to go into the Yellow Deli. Uh, they invited us for dinner, but they have no idea that we're going to be secretly recording. I'm no. a bit nervous. Change out of your fucking Scooby-Doo clothes, Anthpo. You're looking like a fucking wacko right now. You're making yourself look more sus. Fucking bro is dressed up like he's a part of the mystery crew. Maybe wear something normal to the goddamn cult meeting. Oh my god. I have no idea that we're going to be secretly recording. I'm a bit nervous. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think it's just going to be fun. They're so nice. What's going to happen? Zara's getting converted. <laughs> One, two, three. Question crew. Okay. Oh. How many of you guys are here right now? Oh, uh, three. Three! Yeah, that's it. The small talk only lasted about five minutes, and then immediately we were talking about Bible verses. In John chapter 10, verse 16, that God compares people to sheep a lot. To bring judgment to our thoughts and our desires and our motivations and to be what we think is a normal human. <laughs> hmm, Wouldn't being a part of a cult make you literally the definition of a sheep? Because you're following the ideals of someone else. Like, not being a sheep would be thinking for yourself and being your own individual. Being a sheep would be following what a, what an individual says. OG for the three Jimmies. Do you think the cult would get mad or do you think it's just more publicity for them? Oh, no, I think if the cult sees... If, I'm assuming the cult will see this video. Someone in the cult will. They'll probably be upset about it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's pretty deep. I don't you know, this think is... I don't think some one of them's gonna try and kill him though. This is usually the part where I make fun of Janice for saying that's pretty deep after that guy just went on a 15 minute tangent about Judgment Day, but uh, I honestly can't think of a better response. So, good job, Janice. We're eternal beings, like even the evil one is. Everyone, no matter who they are, they're gonna be given a new body, an eternal body, like man was meant to have. That was like a line of dialogue straight out of a video game. But Everyone's going to be given an eternal body. Wouldn't that make you immortal to some degree? They did make a promise to us. If we ever went to another Yellow Deli location, they would let us stay the night. If you ever want to be worth stay on a farm, we got lots of farms. One week later, right before we stayed at the most haunted house in America, we got the green light. We called them ahead of time and told them we were travelers looking for a place to stay and we wanted to do work to stay. And... <laughs> Yeah, sure. We'd I would not want to sleep. I would not want to sleep there. I would not want to sleep there. See, that's where I would be kind of fucking nervous. That I would wake up in the middle of the night. You know, I'm just passed out. <sighs> me, 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 me. <sighs> me, 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 me. I open my eyes and fucking Todd is just, to like 65-year-old Todd is just fucking standing over me, just watching me sleep. Just like this. holding some fucking scary needle in his hand and he's like hiding it behind his back. Oh my God. Vector for the 20 to have cancer. Love to, if you guys still have the accommodations. Plymouth is the biggest yellow deli. It, it, so that's like their like hive HQ. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, I'm also, nervous also I'm like, oh man, we gotta work the entire day. Yeah, we also <laughs> just do labor, you know? <laughs> and after we got our new arsenal of spy gear, we were ready to go. One of us can keep- How the hell are you gonna hide a GoPro? 
That is massive. Here, we were ready to go. What if mm, uh, we got all this spy gear. All right, who's going to shove it up their ass? All right, we're going to have to sneak this in somehow. I call this thing. I call this thing. Anthpo gets the GoPro. Anthpo has to smoke. Anthpo has to has to keep has to keys to the GoPro. I'm gonna keys to that one. We're ready to go. One of us can keep this, and if anyone sees like the perfect place to put it, just. <laughs> okay, well it's kind of. <laughs> 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 Joe picks the phallic one, of course. Yeah, because if I had to shove one of them up my ass, that would be the easiest. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna keep talking about this. We're gonna move on. <laughs> one, two, three. Question crew. from experience. That's not from experience, bro. I'm just. I'm just looking at like a geometric fucking level here. Okay, man. If I had to keister one of these objects into a cult, which one would I choose? That one. Like, there's no... What am I going to keister an iPhone? I'm not going to keister an iPhone. I'm not going to keister that. The GoPro is going to be fucking atrocious. Maybe the little brick thing? That's probably going to be terrible, too. <laughs> I would choose the iPhone. You're bugging. One, two, three. Question crew! Immediately, they split all four of us off, except for Zara and Janice, who would refuse to leave each other's side, and I just started talking to people. Throughout the workday, I didn't find that crazy conversation. I gotta piss so bad. I gotta piss so bad. Y'all gotta count me down. Count me down 30 seconds, I'm running. Donald's gonna shut. We're back. Oh my God, everything's tangled. We're good. Donald for the sub. When's the Fall Guys switch rivals? Says OG for the 300 minutes. May 12th. It'll be ne not next Friday. The Friday after that. Uh, also, uh, I forget. Also, fuck cancer. All right. I was looking for just more of the same people talking about how vaccines were the work of the devil uh, But to be honest, I could probably find somebody saying that at like Cracker Barrel So it wasn't yeah, I don't think that pertains to a cult Somebody saying vaccines are bad or vaccines are the work of the devil doesn't necessarily mean you're a part of a cult That crazy there was over 60 people that worked at this freaking restaurant So I just kept making my way around and asking people questions most of my day was uneventful I just ended up literally working But it's okay, because everybody else ended up working, too. So our plan was to work at the Yellow Deli during the day, and then at night, we were going to get invited to their community home. It's a big house where literally all of- Wow! That's a fucking mansion! That's a nice- Can you stand right there? them live they share everything and that includes money nobody gets money here it's all just going straight into the commonwealth the whole commonwealth thing is actually complete bullshit you're not making anything you don't make any money but you can't take out anything either and when you join the cult they really try to make this like sense of one identity because you lose your name you lose they just showed his whole face like i am i wrong in saying that i could easily find this guy like if you give me an hour i could find out who this guy is like like i I don't think it's that hard to fucking figure out who this guy is. They just showed his eye, too. 
They really try to make this like sense of one identity because you lose your name. Right there, that was just fuck. That was just fucking half of his face. Uh, like I, I could just, I could just figure out who that guy is. Because you lose your name, you lose all your clothes, you lose all your assets. Before we went back to the community home we were invited to a little meeting. At the meeting, you got to voice your own religious beliefs and personal life philosophies. So I knew this was a great opportunity to try to get them to say some absolutely heinous shit. And holy shit did I. Wait, you're allowed to say whatever you want at this meeting and they won't judge you? A great opportunity to try to get them to say some absolutely heinous shit. And holy shit did I. We don't, we don't believe in slavery, but... That's not a good but, sentence to say. But... I don't know about the whole but. Yeah, I don't think I don't think but ever comes after I don't believe in slavery. But after. We know of people whose grandparents were slaves and for generations, and they loved it. The anger that surrounded the Black Lives Matter movement was uh, powerful. There was a powerful force of prejudice in Germany in the 1920s and 30s directed towards the Jewish people, and a politician picked up on it and took it somewhere, and it became an international tragedy. And we stand by our way, uh, our life of love and care for others. He just compared BLM to Nazi Germany, but it's okay because they stand by their life of love and care for others. But let's be real, this isn't too far off of like what you'd hear at like a Trump rally. So I wanted more, and oh boy, would I get it. Yeah, I don't know about the whole slavery thing now. I think, yeah, maybe, maybe like, yeah, the, the BLM thing that they would say, yeah. But I don't, I don't think even a Trump rally they would say anything about fucking sl- it, Well, but- Bro, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> that was the longest day I've had in my entire life. That's what I'm saying. Man, I'm so tired. <laughs> Just asking, so when did you guys join? What's <laughs> for today, man? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so we had two options at this point. Did we cut our losses and go home because this is terrifying, or did we go to the community home? I'm going to the goddamn community home. I'm gonna bring my fucking sleep. If I'm already that far in, I might as well bring my goddamn sleeping bag. Of course, we went to the community home. At 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. every single day, they have a gathering where they praise Yahshua. Yahshua is their Jesus. Uh, in fact, it is just Jesus, but spelled differently. It's the dinner board. Nope, that was the cult meeting board. And this was the most insane shit I've ever seen. And listen, I'm not one to knock any crazy activity. You know, I, I grew up in the Catholic church. We used to sing lots of weird songs and I used to have to kneel and pray, but singing and dancing in a circle with a headband down, talking about how uh, the end days are coming is pretty scary. But I was also uh, a Catholic for most of my life. I don't think kneeling and praying is weird. Jericom for the sub, Anonymous for the, the $1.11 uh, to uh, F Cancer and Ratrex for the sub. They have kids there? Yeah, that's what they were talking about. Half of, half of the, the highlight around this call is that they abuse children, allegedly. That's what they're trying to figure out. I saw her walk out, and as I was passing to go to the bathroom, I think I heard her hitting him. Like, as we were walking down, there was a kid crying, mm -hmm. and, like, I was hearing, like, whipping noises. No way. I was on the lookout during the gathering about, like, how many parents were, like, bringing their kids Get outside, out, yeah, yeah. and it happened, like, ten yeah, times. Literally. And there were kids screaming, like, hollering in the hallway. Like, I... I kept hearing that. I wasn't able to get any of this on video proof, so I'm just going to say all of this is alleged, and if I get sued, uh, this is all a joke, and I faked everything. But in addition... On God. On God. That's what you say. Whenever you get financial advice, you, you pass it up. You say this is not financial advice. You claim something, allegedly, this is a joke, not serious. Into that, I got the final piece of evidence that I've been wanting this whole time. We got a late-night car ride from this dude in a white van, which sounds suspicious, and it is. We're joining a cult, what do you expect? And even though he wasn't supposed to, he revealed the 12 tribes' biggest secret. It's hidden from most. We're looking forward to bringing about an age of peace where the earth is totally made new, and Yahshua is gonna come back, and he's gonna rule the earth. Do you have any idea when that will be? Yes, amazingly enough, like 48 years until the end, yeah. until, <laughs> until the last trumpet. 48 years, what a specific date.
this might have been filmed in 2022. So that would be what? Around 48 years from today. Would be 2071? 2070, 2071, depending if this was 2022 or 2023. Jacob for the sub. Why? And 48 years from now, bitch, at that point, I'm going to be what? I'm going to be 69 in 48 years. I might be dead. When Yeshua arrived, and what does that mean for us? Well, for the 12 tribes, we're being prepared as a bride for him. That's the politically correct way of saying you're going to unalive yourself. But yeah, it's a bribe for him. So they're going to kill themselves for Yeshua? For him. That's the politically correct way of saying you're going to unalive yourself. Why would you be dead? Because there's no way of knowing when you're going to die. Saying, uh, having a guaranteed I'm going to be alive in 48 years is... You can't guaranteed say that. The average American lives to 75. You can just have a heart attack at any moment. You could have a brain aneurysm right now and die. That happens to people all the time. It's uncommon, but like you could theoretically just have a blood clot in your brain and just die right now. And you'll have no warning. You'll have no warning. There's no warning signs for it. You would just die. Because they're obese. Dude, obese people aren't the only people that are having brain aneurysms. Levon for the sub. Fadge for the three. Uh, try to pronounce my name. I just did. No one knows if they'll live in like two years or tomorrow. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah, you have no way of knowing. Oh, shit. I'm lagging. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? Facts. Yeah, you have no oh, way. Oh, it's a gray knowing. screen. Oh, shit, I'm lagging. Oh, motherfucker. Oh. Hold up. Hello? Can y'all see me? It's back. I'm still blurry as fuck, though. Hold up. I'm running a speed test. Oh, God. The upload chat. Guess what my upload speed is right now. Guess what my upload speed is. Oh, God. It's two. Fuck. Count me down 30 seconds. I'm going to go try and fix it. Is it better? Is it better again? It's better now? The Russian for the sub, Casso and Levon for the sub. Okay. Okay, good. Dub! Dub in the chat! Fuck! Psycho for the... Psycho for the $250 to F cancer, bro! Dub in the chat! I really enjoy watching your stream. I'm 15. I love doing extra charity. I'm so happy you're doing this type of thing. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. Duh! Holy shit. What does that even bring us to? What does that even bring us to? 
$2,034.32 to the F Cancer April Takeover. Psycho, I think I'm saying your name right. S-Y-C-H-O. Thank you for the fucking $250 dono to F Cancer, bro. Wow. Wow. $2,034.32. Am I able to see how many people donated? Just to see how many people partook? Oh, I don't think it'll let me. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe? No, it doesn't say. Oh, and Psycho got the F Cancer merch box. Oh, that's a dub, dude. Yo, Seb, did you get the F Cancer merch box? Oh, he did too. Okay, good. Because people that donate 250 get like their, their little merch box sent to them. Uh, all right, bro. Thank you for the 250, dude. God damn. All right. Let's lock back in here, chat. Lock back into the goddamn bed. Almost done. But yeah, that's pretty much oh, somebody redeemed show headset that. Bro, that was like the worst. This is like the worst day for the fucking Wi-Fi to crash, dude. I'm glad it was I'm glad it fixed itself in like 20 seconds. That night we went to bed. Ooh, ooh, a nice care package. Two apples, a fizzy, and a banana. I slept on the most uncomfortable bunk bed I've ever slept on in my entire life, and I've never been so afraid of being murdered in my sleep, but at least <laughs> Aiden would also probably be murdered at the same time, so that was comforting, I guess. We woke up, and then we praised Yahshua again, and then we left because I was f***ing terrified. I put my key in the ignition for the van, and... Oh, she doesn't even pass her sh Tell her she can sh in the van. I want you out of here. Get in the car! God, I want to get out of here! <laughs> No, you don't. They're, do they're gonna kill themselves in 48 okay. years. But yeah, I still get calls from them. Half of them are gonna be dead in 48 years. Like once a month and they think I'm just some random guy. But no, I went in there with a bunch of spy gear and lavalier microphones, so. Sorry guys, if you're watching this. But um, yeah. I was a little unsure if they were legitimately a cult. But they're they a cult. so nice. It doesn't matter if they're nice. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> now this girl's gonna fucking join it. No, but they were so nice to us. I mean, yeah, they said we had to kill ourselves as a sacrifice in 48 years, but they were like so nice. And they were like, they were like so happy. Isn't she the one that was saying they were like hitting the kids too? Hey, sir, why are you being brainwashed? You're literally being, you're being brainwashed. You're what being are you brainwashed. Saying? She the... said she liked them. Oh my God. Fuck out of it. Snap out of it. You're wake falling up, for it. Wake up. You're falling for it! Snap out of it! Holy shit! But look, but look, they gave me a note. They gave a fucking note. I can write a note. Oh my god, look at this. It's a brownie. They gave us a welcome card. Yeah, they gave us a welcome card. It's a fucking 600 milligram pot brownie. Look, they gave me a brownie. You ate that brownie? What do you mean? Bro, do you know what was in that brownie? It's a fucking massive edible. Snap out of it! Yes! Yeah, we did. <laughs> okay! Yeah, we got Is this one. They gave, they gave him a fucking fizzy. To buy your loyalty! <laughs> and a banana. I almost didn't upload this video because it felt like bullying almost, but I have to keep reminding myself that the 12 tribes and what they're doing is like not okay. It's no issue with the individual. Yo, stop. Why he keep? What the fuck? Well, because at the end of the day, most Release the grippers! Most of them are just byproducts of their environment, but the community itself, the bigotry they it's hold- It's an Izzy? Dude, it makes more sense to be fizzy, right? I'm not trying to say Izzy is a dumbass drink name, and... but I'm pretty sure it makes more sense to be called fizzy, because it's probably a fizzy fucking fruit drink. I think that's a better fucking name for a goddamn drink. I would much rather call my... You know, I'm going to start a drink company and call it Fizzy. Waltz for the 10. So, uh, 10 to F Cancer. Sorry late to the stream. My grandpa died two years ago to cancer. I'm sorry to hear that. My mom is starting to get chihuahuas out of grief four chihuahuas later. Wow. KXD for the $4.20. Uh, I love you so much. I'm watching... Uh, I'm new to watching you on Twitch, but I watch your YouTube for a while. Thank you. I'm uploading on YouTube right after stream today, by the way. 
world, the fear mongering and just the general doomsday that they're building towards is not good. And it's a problem with the whole, right? The fact that they're breeding children in the masses. Each girl in the community has like seven children. And seven those kids, children. that's all they know is this community. And once you're in a cult, especially born into it, it's like impossible to leave. Yeah, if you're in if you're born into that, like you're probably gonna you're probably gonna stay raised into that. All right. Next video. We'll do we'll do childhood crushes, then I cloned my dog, and then this one. All right. Uh lock back in here, chat. Childhood crushes by Degenerosity. Older video by Degenerosity, but somebody sent it in the video suggestion tab today. So I made a video not too long ago about my celebrity crushes, where I went over all the celebrities who I wanted to have my future daughter with. And in light of recent events, it reminded me of my video again. It also reminded me about the woman I used to googly eye over on my TV screen as a child. My parents should have never let me watch TV back then, because it introduced me to a whirlpool of characters that made my wee wee experience new emotions that I never felt before. And now those are my childhood crushes, and in this analysis, I'll be going over the ones- Somebody said thoughts on Overtime Megan. Bro, my one friend, every day, asks me to hit up Overtime Megan for him. Every day. Bro, when are you going to tell Overtime Megan to slide to slide my way? When are you going to tell over when are you going to tell OT Megan to hit me up? Bro, like th that ain't going to fucking work. Help him out? Oh my god. I asked him, I said how many times I I said this, I said this to him. You know her? No, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know her. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know her? No. I don't know her. He's like, dude, it doesn't matter you don't know her. You have a following. I said, bro, I hit her up. I say, tell tell, tell her. Or I'll say, hit up my boy, bro. He, he likes you. How many times have you DM'd her? He said, oh, hundreds. I said, show me what you asked her. And he starts scrolling through. Like him sliding up on every fucking... You're telling Brooke? Okay. He wants me to be his wingman. I'm telling Brooke. I'm telling Brooke. I'm telling Brooke. She already knows, dumbass. The fuck? You're acting like I'm hitting her up. Dude, I'm hitting her up for my friend. Or I'm not going to, but that's what he wants. I'm telling Brooke. Okay. Anyways. He's scrolling through... Um. Like, the messages he sent over time, Megan. And, bro, it's like, you're so bad. <laughs> this is what he said. Like, you're so bad. Bro, uh, like, like some, like, Riz lines, all this other shit, just, like, scrolling for, like, months. I'm like, dude. Somebody said you're talking about overtime, Megan, when you have a girlfriend. Bro. I don't like overtime Megan, my friend likes overtime Megan. Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Or are you having a dull moment? For the 15, uh, love what you're doing. I hope you have a great day. F cancer. TT for the 10 to F cancer. Hey, Joe. Bottle Ozzy, love your streams and YouTube videos. Thank you. Uh, and a Tony for the three inch biddies. I uh, love the videos. What college do you go to? Not answering that. Uh, if people know it, not a big deal, but uh, people get weird about it. That made me the man I am today. You are in for a wild ride. All right, so we're going to start a little team. You know, we're going to try to work our way up to the real good ones. All right. So first up, we got. Yo, why are you flashing Freddy's mom on real good ones? Who were y'all childhood, my childhood crushes from TV shows? When I was like, uh, when I was like 10, 12, uh, Megan Fox. Dude, everybody says Megan Fox. It was their childhood crush. Gwen from Ben 10. I don't even know who that is. Uh, I always, I always used to have a crush when I was a kid on that girl from Total Drama Island, that goth girl. Um, I used to have a crush on Sam Puckett when I was 10 from iCarly. 
I used to always think that I was better than Freddie's bitch ass and that Freddie was a pussy. And why would Freddie have, why would Freddie have some fucking chance? Somebody said Jack Sparrow. Uh, I used to like Jesse. Uh, I, when I was, when, when, when Wizards of Waverly Place came out, I don't even remember how old I was, but I used to like uh, Selena Gomez. Joe for the sub. Ariana Grande, what, when she was in Victorious? Oh, first up, we got Lady from the 2000 Thomas the Tank Engine. Bro, movie. bro, I just listed, like, actual people w that I had a crush on when I was, like, 10. Homie just listed a train. Thomas the Tank Engine movie. Now, I've been an active watcher of Thomas since I was in preschool. And in the series, there's a lot of baddies. We got Emily, Caroline, Percy, uh, I think that's a girl, and Harold. But out of all these fine ladies, ain't none of them had me as bricked up as Lady. I mean, look at her. Her shining purple build, her golden bumpers, and her steam hole where I could, you know, you know. And I'm not weird for having a crush on her. I was a child. It's not my fault they started to make It's a train! It's a train! It's not even a living object! Train so gorgeous. I was actually going to be a conductor because of this fantasy of mine, being with a lady and all. But then my dream was crushed when I actually found out that trains don't have mouths. So now that just defeats the purpose of everything. <laughs> Moving on. Next up, we got Marceline, the Vampire Queen. Ever since I was. I hate Adventure Time. I've always hated Adventure Time. I think the show itself isn't that bad. I fucking despise the art style of Adventure Time. I know it's an L take. I know it's one of the most popular cartoons uh, from Cartoon Network. But I think the art style is so ugly, it's unbearable. As a youngling, Marceline gave me the sweats, leaving me drenched. So it's quite obvious why she's on my lineup. I honestly think she's the one that's responsible for my taste in woman. She's emo. She's a vampire. Yeah. She makes me want to have some daddy issues, too. And if she ain't your favorite in Adventure Time, then who else is there? Bubblegum? Glizzy Princess? No, everyone else, that's the wrong choice. Marceline is the only right- I think anyone from Adventure Time is a wrong choice. ...world we live on. Moving on, we got Velma from every single Scooby-Doo. Yo! You were attracted to Velma? Nah, Velma. Velma is so bad, bro. Velma was not bad ever. Like, I I used to watch Scooby-Doo when I was like 10. Who's the other girl? I used to like the other girl. Daphne. Yeah, like, I used to I used to be like, oh, yeah, no, Daphne, Daphne's cool. But, like, bro, Velma annoying as fuck. Always losing her glasses. I've always preferred Velma over the inferior Daphne. Velma has everything over her. She's got the fit. She's got I like I understand what people are saying when they're like, okay, yeah, maybe like the movie the movie Velma, but like right because they changed their characters, but like the cartoon Velma, it just complains all the time. Daphne, Velma has everything over her. She's got the fit, she's got the face, and she has freckles. Like, the mystery gang could be using Velma as a trap, because all those Party City villains will get distracted by her natural beauty when seeing her. I wish she was doing that, but instead she's always talking about math and solving the mystery. Like, bruh, can you shut up and start twerking, please? Please, please, with a cherry on top, please. I'm not trying to hear all that. Next up, we got Shigo. Do I need to explain? She a bad. Oh, is this the girl from Ben 10? Better than Mid Possible and also every boy's crush. And even though she's a villain, I don't care. She could run my bank account dry and I'll still feel like my money was well spent. That's how mesmerizing she is. But let's move on to the higher tier picks of this list. We, we just went over the low tier people. They're great and all, but not as superior as the high tier. Oh, that's not Ben 10?
This ain't Ben 10. What the fuck is this? What show is this? This is Kim Possible. We, we just went over the low tier people. I feel like it matches the Ben 10 vibe. They're great and all, but not as superior as the high tier. And from now on, I swear to God, if he said he was sexually, I thought he was going to say he was sexually attracted to Kirby. I was about to fucking lose it. I was actually about to fucking freak out if he said he wanted to fuck Kirby. I tear. And from now on, every single pick will be even better than the last. All right. Next up, we got Michelle Obama and iCarly. I, as a child, as a child. Michelle Obama in iCarly. I didn't even know she was in iCarly. I always looked up to Michelle Obama. Even now, I still do. I'm not the tallest person. But as a kid, seeing her in iCarly, I, I thought I found a woman. I, I love a woman that's built like a grown-ass man. She don't deserve Obama or whatever his last name is. She deserves me. She should be flocking over towards me because I'm the better pick. Next up is Zac Efron. Now, you're probably thinking, bro, isn't this pretty gay? And yes, it is gay. I switch my teams like how Ariana Grande switches her race. I do what I want. I remember watching. I do what I want. I remember watching High School Musical as a kid. And every time Zach was on screen, I was singing like Bruno Mars whenever he started to sing. Like, look at him. He's the man we all inspire to be. And if we can't be him, then we might as well fuck him. Next up, we got the, the furries. I used to, I used to, have, when I was 10, I used to have a crush on, um, on the squirrel from, what is her name from Spongebob? Uh, when I, oh my God, what is her name? Dude, Sandy, Sandy the squirrel. Yeah, Sandy Cheeks. Yeah, and the fucking, yeah, the, 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 the rabbit from Space Jam. I've never wanted to have my way with an animal more than right now. Next up, we got Dora. Now, hold on for a second, before you start making any accusations, remember the title of the vid, and I'm talking about the grown-up version of her in Dora and Friends Into the City, not the big dome chrome dome kid one. Now, her in this show, she's a beauty, and I'm not weird for saying that, because she's grown up in this one, and to prove my point, let's confirm her age in the series. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, let's just, let's just move on. Next up is that pink thing from the backyard again. Now, I don't that know. That doesn't even look like a fucking person, dude. That is a blob. That is a blob. What? what she is or what species she comes from apparently she's a made-up creature but they gave her nice pink skin and i like pink skin uh, uh how old is she again oh! before i get to my oh last my pick God. let me just say some honorable mentions um shrek's wife the the ogre version of her she's nice nah, dude the ogre version of shrek's wife is so fucking ugly dude oh no bro yeah no the 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 shrek princess though when I watched Shrek for the first time, I was like, yeah, bro. The ogre version of her, she's nice and thick. Um, that pink thing from, uh, the, the pink cat from Garfield, she's nice. Uh, Osmosis Jones, he was always my idol. Um, let me turn my page real quick. Um, the grandma from Looney Tunes, uh, Gispacho, uh, Lego Princess Leia, uh, Naruto Sexy Jutsu, um, those pillow pets, I, I always wanted a pillow pet, uh, and Johnny Depp. Uh, that's it. And now we're in the last and certainly not least the best childhood crush of this video. What do you think he's going to say? The best childhood crush. Who is he going to say? Oh. Selena Gomez. He might say Selena. G that was my childhood crush was Selena Gomez when I was a kid. And of all time. We have... Oh, he's going to say Megan Fox. He's definitely going to say Transformers Megan Fox. Mrs. Kipling.
Is that the lizard from Jesse? Formerly known as Mr. Kipling, the second I found out it was actually a girl, I instantly fell in love. Her long tail, her scaly scales, those itty bitty eyes. I would do anything, anything to be with Mrs. Kipling. I would just, just. <laughs> I need to see the comments. Digital, digital footprint. This man says stuff that don't even have the curse to think about. This dude straight up glossed over the furries, but decided the final part to be a literal animal. I never thought of liking a train. Yeah, I never thought of liking any of the train. I didn't really watch Thomas the Train, uh, the Tank Engine, though. If we can't be him, might as well fuck him. She go, she a baddie better than mid possible. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna move on. T Sue for the four hundred biddies and the six hundred biddies. Can you say happy birthday, Kira? Happy birthday, Kira. Uh, Zakitty for the sub. Lacey for the sub. Ava for the three. Love the streets. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Rocky for the three. Uh, you should try the Kamehameha G Fuel flavor. I already have. Uh, also just had prom. How was it? Slash for the sub. X bronze for the sub. Uh, OG for the three hundred biddies says Chloe Mortez. Who is that? Joe for the sub. Tahoni for the fucking three hundred biddies. I already read that. All right. Next video. I cloned my dog. The clones. That's right. There's two of them, but they're genetically 100. Hold up. These dogs are clones. That's right. There's two of them, but they're genetically 100% the same dog. I love my dog, but she lives at home with my parents, and I'm in college, so I never get to see her. But with this technology, apparently it's actually possible to clone your pet. So I guess she could be in two places at once. To find out, I traveled to the world's center of cloning. Would you clone yourself if you could? Yes. Just to see, just to see what that other me would be like. Like, I wouldn't, I, I would clone them, and then I would seclude them outside of me, right? And I kind of would, like, try and hide my existence from them. And then, like, 20 years from then, I would be like, yo, what's up? I'm you. And they would, and then I would see how their life turned out. Because then you would know, like, what if they had the same exact life as you, even if they weren't around you? That would kind of, like, prove some weird shit that, like, you can't really decide what you're going to be like. Technology, which is apparently Texas. I don't know what to expect. I feel like I'm entering a science fiction movie, except it's Somebody real. Somebody just said I would clone myself as a female for personal reasons. And then somebody else just said, what if you fuck your clone? Why is that the first thing that comes to your mind? Why is that the first thing that you think of? I'm talking about cloning yourself to see what it would be like to be a clone or, or to have a clone and see how their life would turn out. You're talking about having a clone so you could get with it. Some people are just lonely. Yeah, but cloning yourself to get with yourself, that's nuts. They would be way younger than you. Yeah, but it's like a, a clone being younger. That's what I'm saying. That's why you wait 20 years to see how their life turns out. Oh, but then they would live in a different time. And then at that point, they would probably have a different job, different life. And I'm here right now. Hi. All right. I would clone, I, I'm going to have a kid, and when I, when I have the kid, I'm going to clone that kid, and then they're going to grow up the same age. 
And so they'll kind of be like identical twins, but even more identical. It's nice to meet you. Because do identical twins have the same exact genetics? No, right? They still have some differentiations. I came here to answer one simple question. Should I clone my dog? This dog's name is Vader, and she's a clone. Basically, there was an original dog, and when that dog got cloned, there was accidentally an extra that came out. So now they just had a third dog, they didn't know what to do with. So Lauren, who works for Viagen, adopted her. When we share pictures, it is just stunning how absolutely identical they are. But how does this even work? So this is where the viable cells are preserved and frozen and stored. These vials. Just to show you. Yo, if we're able to clone dogs, wouldn't we be able to clone people? Like, what, what would restrict you? If you can clone an, another animal, you should be able to clone a human. Do one rack in here. They just don't. It's not allowed, but they could. That's step one, freezing the cells. I'm as confused as you are. Let me explain. They get your pet cells by having you mail it to them, and then they can freeze it for as long as you'd like. Whenever you're ready, you can let them know when you want to move on to step two, cloning. And so those are the cells in that red liquid. Right, and the cells can remain in these vials indefinitely. Why does she keep saying indefinitely? Indefinitely means forever. I thought cloning was like a new thing. Well, apparently it's not. Because scientists in the 1970s were already storing cells in these tanks of- Bro, I'm gonna clone myself. And then when I die, I'm gonna have my will say, don't make this clone a person for 10,000 years. And then there will be a me 10,000 years from now. What well, won't be me, but it will be genetically me. And then I'm going to write a fucking essay to that motherfucker. And I'm going to say, you're the, I'm the reason you exist, bitch. You better make something of your dumbass life. Because I'm, you're, you're the exact copy of me. And I just made you fucking come to existence. Injured species. Because they knew the technology would become available eventually to keep them from going extinct. So some of the animals that are cloning have been stored here waiting to be brought back for like 50 years. It almost seems like technically like no species ever really has to go extinct. You just kind of clone them a bunch of times. If they still have some left because you want to transfer into the same species surrogate. Oh yeah. So that's step three. The clone is born. Viagen basically has to transfer these cells to a surrogate mother to birth the clone. A surrogate is just a mother for a baby that isn't theirs. We'll meet some of those clone mothers later. But it also means that there still has to be some of those animals around to be the clone mother. So we can't just bring back species who have already gone extinct. Jurassic Park. Right. Not happening, I'm yeah. guessing. And also the, the DNA would be too old, right? So, uh... Yeah, but you could have... You ever heard of a mule? A horse can have a donkey's kid. Maybe a pig could have a velociraptor. This technology's got so many tricks up its sleeve. We'll just leave it at Jurassic Park. Not happening. For like now. an elephant could have a woolly mammoth. They're close enough. What's the most amount of times you've seen the same dog get cloned? For that, it's, it wasn't in a family circumstance. It was more for, like, the police work. This is Cody. They're Nobody is getting with a pig. I didn't say a human is going to fuck a pig, Pop Sosa. Did you hear what I was saying? I was saying a pig could have a velociraptor, maybe. I didn't say a human would fuck a pig client service representative we do have someone that is um cloning for hunting dogs wow too many people saying i would too many people saying i would this wasn't necessarily the intent with cloning but canine tactical he has trained his dogs to be like a shooter response they've had a lot of their more industrial clients clone their optimal animals for work purposes but most of their customers are just cloning their pets most of our clients will just do the DNA preservation, like, with not even necessarily the intention. I wouldn't want to clone Daisy. Would y'all clone your own pet? Because it's a different personality. It's a different... It, I, I understand they're genetically the same. But that's, like, that's like my dog right now. Daisy's Daisy right now, but, like, three generations of cloning later... Yeah, the dog looks the same, but it's a different life. It's a different personality. It doesn't remember me when I was 16 and I got Daisy. Like, like if I had a third generation clone of Daisy when I'm 30, like that dog ain't going to remember or have the memories or have the same personality as Daisy now. 
Sophia for the 15, uh, F Cancer. Maniac for the 3. Can I clone Tank, Rip Tank? You might, I don't know. You probably would have had to do, uh, do it sooner. Joe for the sub. Uh, if you had a superpower, what would you pick? Uh, Zakitty for the sub. Probably super intelligent. Sony for the 3 inch Can you play Subnautica? Maybe, but probably not. They just, you know, say it makes them feel so much better just knowing that they have that option and kind of keeping that hope alive that one day maybe they could if they really wanted to. Interesting. So, okay, let's review. Step one is freezing the cell, which she's calling DNA preservation. They'll store the cells frozen for as long as you'd like until you're ready for step two, actually cloning them with the surrogate mother, which leads to step three, the clone is born. That was an interesting morning. I'm meeting up with a girl here in a minute at this park who paid the money to have her cat clothed. So she's been living with this new cat for at least a year now. And I'm very curious about how her relationship with that cat is different from the one she had with the first. I feel like it would just make me sad. Like, when Daisy dies, if I cloned my own pet, and I cloned Daisy, and then I had Daisy all over again as a puppy... Every time I look at that dog, all I'm going to think about is how my actual dog died. Like, yes, this is a new dog and it's Daisy, but it's not my, it's not my, uh, it's not my original dog. It's just the clone of that. That dog is dead. Lovejoy for the $15 dono to F Cancer. Sonny for the 300 bitties. Nice to meet you. Oh, wow. Yeah, it even I says did, the cloned kitty right does. there. I brought her, but I'm going to keep her zipped up. My name is Kelly, and I cloned my cat. Chai was my soulmate cat. She was the cat that I cloned. I got Belle from her. How long after Chai died did you decide? Maybe if you named them differently. Okay, that's different. Maybe if you named them, like, if you had, if, if I had, uh, Daisy's my dog right now. If I had Daisy die, and then I cloned a dog, and I named it, fucking sunny that would be different than if i named the dog the same fucking thing or was this during chai's life the night that chai but if you're gonna name it differently just get a fucking new dog just get a different dog why the fuck do you need the same dog i don't get that nobody's gonna name it differently she named it differently but i feel like most people just name it the fucking same thing that wow. I was going to clone her, yeah. Do cloned animals grow up to be like exactly the same as the original? My original cat Chai was very sick as a kitten, and so that really shaped her personality. And Belle, she's outgoing, curious. I take her places. They're just very different. Is it still just sort of as satisfying? Well, they Is don't even look like the same dog. Am I wrong? Or not the dog? Same dog, same cat. Do they look like the same fucking cat? That looks so different. How the hell was that genetically the same? That cat and this cat. Bro. Curious, I take her places. They're just very different. Is it still just sort of a satisfying? Their eyes are different colors. Does it still have the same effect, sort of emotionally? It's the lighting, dude. But what about their eyes? I never really wanted to bring her back to life. I just wanted to carry on a piece of her. Kelly had to wait four years in between Chai's death and Belle's birth, where Viagen tried to successfully clone her. They kind of stopped calling, you know, after a while because I think they knew that I was. Upset. It was hard. After about two years, I kind of turned my emotions off. When they did call me eventually, of course I'm over the moon about it. I started to think, like, I love my dog, you know? And I was thinking, like, should I do that? And then that do meaning I cloning. Clone and dog, to be honest, it, it was a question I still didn't really know the answer to. I feel like it takes away from the specialness of the individual. Like, cloning your dog, or even anything, cloning a human, cloning anything, like, then then there's no specialness of the memory of that individual. Right, yeah, like, like Daisy or a human or anything would have their own personality and memories and shared those memories with different people. But, like, cloning them genetically is taking a part of them and just giving it to something else. Instead of, like, having a child and mixing genetics and making an entirely new kind of randomized individual... You're just keeping, you're just keeping a sh some sort of memory of that individual alive, but then it takes a, the value away from the original. In Kawhi for the three-inch biddies, my sister wants to freeze-dry a really old cap to keep him. That's whack. Your sister wants to freeze-dry your animal? Why not get it, like, taxidermied if you're really going to go down that route? Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the questions I have.
I'm gonna fly to Dallas to meet with the CEO of the company, Blake Russell. He should know the answers to all the serious ethical questions and where the future of this technology can go. He runs a horse ranch where he's got tons of the same horse. There's probably no one in the world that's more passionate about this than him. So if anyone's gonna convince me, it's gonna be Blake. I really had no idea what I was getting myself into. <laughs> Hotel lobby for giving out chocolate chip cookies tonight. That is what I needed. I already ate it though. I was in Dallas all day, but Blake told me to meet him at his cloned horse ranch at night. I hate, I hate being in an Uber driver or an Uber car alone. It's unbearable. A taxi driver, an Uber driver. Being with them alone is so bad. It doesn't matter how cool of an Uber driver they are. I fucking hate it. Because it's awkward. It's so awkward. It's weird. It's awkward. It's nerve-wracking. And I'm a dude, bro. Right? Like, imagine being, like, a fucking 5'2", like, woman at fucking 3 a.m. getting an Uber call home, dude. Like, I would be worried they would fucking kidnap me. All right, thank you very much for the ride. I know it was a long drive. Best luck for you. Thank you. Okay, I've arrived at Blake's house where he keeps the cloned horses. He's not here yet. He told me to just let myself in, so. I'm in his house right now. I am in a cloner's house. <laughs> Should we do a house tour? Bedroom. I hate that clock. I hate that fucking clock. Do a house tour. Bedroom. Closet. Dishwasher. Shower. Texas themed lamp. Another closet. Boot. What does a cloning. I'm skipping. I'm gonna get to the cloning. Get to the cloning. A booby trap. What? Where's the dog? I saw a dog. Dog. Oh man, I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. Oh, wait, come out here. Oh, big as fuck. Oh man, I'm so Wow. I'm so is that is that the look fat or furry? Oh, it's all. Nah, he looked fat. I'm not making fun of it, but damn. Oh man, I'm so sorry. No. Wow, that's a big dog. That's a wide dog. Oh, it's all good. Oh, wait, come out here to the barn. Yeah. Here you come, baby. This baby will go to Europe. That's an Olympic level show jumper. Most horses don't get cloned as pets, but as great athletes, so they can live on and keep competing in horse sports after the original has died. And that big. Nah, that's cheap though then you get some lucky ass horse that's good as fuck you just clone that motherfucker and never give the clone to anybody else and boom now you're never gonna fucking lose your horse standing next to the baby is the surrogate mother we talked about earlier you the gotta have the rng involved in the horse in the horse fucking breeding to whether or not that thing's good then you get some fucking all-star horse and you just fucking clone that thing and just always win Mother and the baby aren't related at all, which is why they don't look the same. The mother's just there to give birth to the clone, and that's what a surrogate mother does. This is just a normal dog, just not a, normal a not dog, a clone. Yeah. <laughs> this baby is not a clone, but her mother is a clone and her father is a clone. Huh. Petting horse is a western sport. Well, the number one producer of those type of horses in history. Me, Minecraft, breeding the horses uh, to get the fastest horse with the highest jumping capabilities. Her name was Royal Blue Bean. Our family owns a clone of Royal Blue Bean. And this baby, her mother, is the clone of Royal Blue Bean. She's a, a miracle of science in that both her genetic father and genetic mother were brilliant and amazing. Oh, so they cloned really... It's two clones of really good horses, and then they made them have sex and have a really super horse. That's literally Minecraft breeding. They're in the Hall of Fame. They were never mated together when they were. Yo, I think he got that idea from Minecraft, though. No lie. Is that blood on the ground? Together when they were both. Or a shadow. Living originally, but now the clones. You can bring those. Sorry, that's my wife. She's feeding the cats. All good. Um, so this horse here is from the San Diego Zoo. It's called the Shabalski. Yeah, I heard about that. He's from a. It looks like a llama. Shabalski horse that died over 50 years ago. So this horse is part of one of the endangered <laughs> species Viagen is trying to prevent from extinction. In this case, the last breed of wild horses left in the world. Galloping through the pasture at Viagen's cloning facility in Texas, the second cloned Shabalski horse is giving hope to restoring genetic diversity. So he's an identical twin to a horse from 50 years ago. 
And this was for the first time when Bla Is that ethical? If aliens came down to Earth and started doing that to us, I feel like we would retaliate with war. Why the fuck would aliens clone us? Pop for the three. If you could clone any animal, you would have an infinite food supply. Pop. To clone an animal, it still needs a surrogate mother, right? It doesn't just kind of grow on a Petri dish, right? So at that point, you could just not clone animals and just have cows fuck. Because it's cheaper. It's the same thing. You're not saving money. You're not saving money and you're not increasing food supply by cloning an animal. They're still doing it, right? There's, you still have to give birth to the animal. Dawson for the five. Love your videos. You're such a huge inspiration. I hope you keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. In Kawhi for the three. Oh, I already read that. Blake showed me two clone horses side by side. Wild. It's kind of weird seeing a clone. Like, if you could see a clone of yourself, like, these horses can look at each other and there's the same fucking thing. There's the puppies that she gave birth to. Oh, the dog we were looking at earlier. Uh -huh. I have a really special dog that was um, in my family when my girls were growing up. He passed away when he was 18. But he's also stored at that gene bank that you were in yesterday with the a... son or the dog the son or the dog oh the dog okay passed away when he was 18 but he's also stored at that gene bank that you were in yesterday with a dream that we have of when we retire and settle down cloning him so again our grandchildren can be around him like our own girls were around the original back when they were young and growing up. What about people who would say like, you know, na it's going against nature. It almost feels like it's breaking the circle of life a little bit. Every animal that we see today that's in domestication is the result of human intervention. This is just a very sophisticated way of doing that. Our business, we don't talk about cloning humans, we don't think about cloning humans. Um, the theme of the video is so we should clone a human just to see what happens you know just one uh i know there's kind of an ethical dilemma there but you know just clone one human right let's clone michael phelps or tom brady or somebody really fucking smart or some shit like that you know let's clone ronaldo mm, you know Sort of like I wanted to kind of come in and ask you this for me, right? Coming here, I thought there was no way I would ever clone my dog. You yeah, know, LeBron like, James. Well, they are. LeBron already has a son. That's pretty good at basketball too. So I don't really think we need to clone LeBron. That that's crazy. It's so expensive. You think it would be something that? Oh, uh, like, Lana like Del Rey. Mm, pass. Mm, pass on cloning Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey. Mm, pass. Mm, pass. No. If you like. Nikocado avocado. See, that's one I could get behind. Let's clone Nikocado avocado. So then we could have infinite mukbang videos. You think it's something I would, I should do? I think that fifty thousand dollars is a tremendous amount of money. Infinite hot Cheeto mukbangs. Right, but it is the price of a new pickup. Yeah. And one day I'll buy another new pickup. Right, but. I could oh my god, I love when dogs make that face. That's so cute. Price of a new pickup. Yeah, Hold and. On. One day I'll buy another new pickup. That dog is so fucking cute. Oh my god, that dog is so fucking cute. Right, but I could probably put it off for four or five years and drive the old pickup yeah. and clone that dog. And when I hear that story from people, they tell me that pickup never loved me okay. back the way that clone dog did. 
Blake offered to drive me back to Dallas. At this point, he asked me what I was actually doing there, and I told him how YouTube works and who Mr. Beast is. I appreciate it so much. Thank Why you so much. Why didn't he tell him who Mr. Beast was? You always just got to bring up. If you, you bring up YouTube, you kind of have to bring up Mr. Beast, though. Uh, all right, next vid. Fatch for the sub. Oh, the lying, looting Pontiac Pocketer. All right, let's fast forward to where they start stealing. Of his vehicle, and he's going to make his way around to the other side so he can have a conversation with his passenger. Well, honey, unfortunately, we are having some engine problems, so I'm going to need you to run inside and grab a bottle of fuel system cleaner. And my cousin Jasper said that if you put peanut M&Ms in the radiator, that usually fixes any problem. So grab a pack of those, and oh, man, what the heck is that? Oh, no, I got some curb rash on my rim. Well, nothing a little spray paint won't fix once we get home. All right, so remember... Fuel system cleaner and peanut M&Ms. Has to be peanut. Don't grab the regular. Those won't work. All right, while you're in there, I'm just going to look at the motor in confusion for the next five minutes. So she's going to make her way inside the store and obviously look up at the counter before she adjusts her hat. Make sure it's on real tight. She's going to make her way down the middle aisle and she's going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop around the store looking for the automotive section. She's going to come over here. She's going to wipe some snot off of her nose before she looks up at the counter make sure the cashier's busy. And it looks like she found the automotive section. Section. All right, what does he want? I totally forgot. It wasn't Windex. It wasn't washer fluid. Was it brake fluid? Nope, I would remember that. Uh, let's see, what is it? Power steering fluid? No. Ah, there it is. Fuel system cleaner. All right, that looks a little small. They get a bigger bottle? Nope. All right, and is the cashier looking? Nope. Yeah, you know what I always worry about? I Like, have y'all ever gone into, like, uh, a gas station and you buy something and then you go take a piss before you leave? Like, I'll go into a Wawa. That's what's in the Northeast in New Jersey. It's like a gas station. And I'll, like, buy, I'll buy, like, say, peanuts, a drink, uh, chips, and then, like, a sandwich. I'll order a sandwich, right? I'll pay for it. And then I'll go use the bathroom. And I'll bring everything with me. And I always worry they're going to think I'm fucking stealing. Because, like, it's so sus when you bring something into a fucking bathroom. Like, if you just walk into a bathroom, like, they're going to think you're pocketing it busy better take that and anything else nope and up oh, that's a camera can't do that here all right let's slip that into my secret pocket gas station sell fucking everything they sell fucking uh, shit for your car they sell alcohol they sell snacks oh crap totally forgot this is the wrong jacket all right I'll slip it into this pocket and all right where are those peanut m&ms i'm kind of hungry and since i can't eat peanut m&ms i gotta get something for myself so oh here we go look at all that candy that's a lot of good options all right what do i want do i want a snickers can't go wrong with the snickers what about the best candy bar of all time and how much do you think that bottle was that they stole like, they couldn't, like, what was that, like, ten bucks? Nine dollars? Take five, uh, I'm not seeing that. I mean, maybe if it was just some expensive shit for your car, like, thirty. Yeah, that's weird. All right, well, it looks like I'm gonna go with a salted caramel Twix. Yep, that sounds pretty good. And up, 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 up another customer. Oh, yeah, don't mind me, just a normal person. Uh, all right, and where are those peanut M&Ms? And, yep, there they are. All right, that's everything I need. Let's, uh... Walk over here. Let's slip those into my secret pocket. Oh, crap. Forgot. Doesn't have a secret pocket. All right. I'll just take them into the bathroom with me. So, while she is in the bathroom, I'm double verifying. And, yep, she definitely put that in her jacket pocket. Better take that AirPod out. Can't listen to Kill Tony and confront a shoplifter at the same time. All right. Let's exit out of Twitter. And did she get anything else? Let's see. Who's doing <laughs> self-commentary? <laughs> Let's look at the candy section. Yep, she's got candy in her hand, and up, oh, she's grabbing something else. Look at me multitask, like a boss, like a boss. All right, let's turn on do not disturb mode on my phone. You know, don't want somebody calling me in the middle of. It's just like not worth it. Like how how long can you go to prison for stealing? Like she stole like fifteen bucks of shit, and she could go to prison. Like, what is the sentence for stealing from a gas station? A day? If you steal, if you're caught stealing, oh, if you're caught stealing gas. No, if you're caught stealing. What is the sentence for stealing? Six months in jail and up to $1,000. That's a, oh, that's in New Jersey, though. But she'd probably just get a day in prison and some fucking fine. Recording. All right, let's see if she took it into the bathroom with her. 
And it looks like she did, yeah. But, like, does she not think she looks sus? Like, you walk around an entire gas station. You go to the bathroom, piss, and leave. Like, why wouldn't you just go right to the bathroom if all you had to do was pee? Straight into the bathroom with it. All right, let's see what vehicle she arrived in. All right, let's Like, see I would at least buy something, you know? If I were gonna steal... Like, buy, I would go grab whatever I was going to yoink and buy one item, right? Because then it's like, oh, you're actually still getting something. Look at this angle here. And nope, wrong one. Let's try this angle. Nope, don't see it there either. I think I got a customer. <laughs> oh, guys, guys buying two primes. Two primes. And what is that? A fucking vitamin water? Oh, that's not a vitamin water. Oh, no, that's all primes. But he's buying three primes. There either. I think I got a customer. Yep. Primes aren't bad. I think they're too sweet, though. Yep, she got out of that hunk of junk. All right. Let's make sure. Is my camera phone facing the right way? Is he going to go fucking walk up to her or some shit? Oh, God. Oh, God. What is this? Most replayed. Have a good one. Thank you, too. Thank you. And that's a thief. What? <laughs> hey, we got a thief. Yeah, I want to see if she's dumb enough to put the thing in the engine that she just stole. You got a thief. Yeah. Oh, go get she's her. pretty dumb. Go get her. Pretty dumb. This guy said, yeah, go get her. Buddy looking like Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, God, they sell jewels there. Hey, if you're looking at the order, it's probably a pair of flyers anyway. How much shit did you steal? I didn't steal yeah, you're pretty old to be stealing shit. I didn't How old anything. are you? Pretty oh, old. You she looks like 30. You didn't take anything? No. Oh, really? You didn't take anything in the bathroom with you? You didn't take anything from the automotive section over here either? No, I said Oh, dude, down. this part is so rough. Oh, my God. You set it all down? Oh, okay. All right. Whatever you say. Are so fire. I love ice. I love ice. Literally, what is yeah, it? like at that point, he's already got you on cam. Just admit and give it back. You know what I mean? Because then, then there's a chance he won't charge you. You know what I mean? Like if you steal from a store and he's got you on camera, he's filming your dumb ass and he's like, you stole. Just be like, okay, sorry. Give it back. Maybe he won't press charges. But you still deny it. Like, now he's just gonna fucking spite you and, and charge you. She's a thief. She's a shoplifter. She just stole a bunch of shit, went into no, the bathroom. Yeah, she did. She's a liar. She took candy. She took an automotive something. Yeah. Yeah, you're a thief. What the fuck? You're a fucking thief, and you know it. You're a piece of shit. All right. Just hang out here and wait for the police, all right? Yeah, just wait for the police, okay? Aww. You gonna wait for him? You're gonna wait for him, right? Yeah, we're right here. Right? You didn't steal anything? No. Oh, you didn't? So no. I'm an idiot? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm a liar? Yeah. All right. You're a. Oh my God, just fucking admit it. And then it would just, like, he just might be like, oh, pay me for it. Fuck. Moron. You're a dumbass. All right, just wait for the police, okay? okay well, I'm gonna call him right now. Just wait for him, okay? When they get here and they search me, yeah. and there's nothing on me. Okay. I expect when they get. Th Okay. I, I expect an apology. Dude, he has you on camera stealing. I can't wait to give you one. I feel, I kind of feel bad for her, me too. Because he is pressing her. Because, I, yeah, I do feel bad. It, it is dumb, though, to steal, like, you know, I'm not saying this is smart. Number one, you shouldn't steal. But, and I will say this as well. Like, if any of you have ever stolen from a Walmart, they've, they know you've stolen, Right. If you've ever stolen from a Walmart, they have you on camera, right? They have you on camera stealing. They know you've stolen. It's not worth their time to do something about it, right? Because they're a multi-billion dollar business, right? Walmart loses, I think, a billion dollars in revenue from stealing a year, okay? Uh, they know you've stolen. It's not worth their time to fucking call the cops on every person that's ever stolen. So stealing from a local business, a local gas station, is more stupid than stealing from a conglomerate because the conglomerate probably will do nothing in comparison, right? 
So them walking up to a regular gas station, stealing from this guy, he's going to fucking do something, right? Because it, it, is, it, it is worth his time. Because the only thing I took were these. Oh, okay. So what did you do with the stuff you took into the bathroom? Did I you eat it while you were in there? Huh? I set it down on the fucking rack right okay. before I went in. Dude. Okay. Uh, I watched you walk in with it. You're a liar. You're a fucking liar. Yeah, you're a liar. You're a moron. Real quick, make sure I'm not blind and nothing on the rack right there. Let's check the trash can and... You set it down at. Are you hiding the shit now? Are you fucking dumb? Are you a dumbass? <laughs> I just start eating them. I start eating them. I'd whip out the peanut butter M and M's. Fucking chow down on all that shit. You a dumbass. Come in here. Show me where you set it down. Come show me where you set it down so I can give you an apology. Show me. Down. Yeah right. You're leaving. Shut the fuck up. Come show me where you set it down. Let's go. Get out of my face. Come show me. See. So do you believe her? Do you believe her? No, I'll sit there and work. Look, she doesn't have Do nothing. you believe her? Yes. You I do believe her? For one reason, look, she doesn't have nothing. Buddy, I don't care. The camera says otherwise. She said she set the stuff down inside. She didn't. Come show me. Let's oh, it's so awkward, dude. I just feel, I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of bad, but it's also, oh, do y'all feel like, do y'all feel bad about this? Because she sold like $12 a shit, bro. Like, would I call the cops on them for that? No, I'd be like, I'd, I'd give them I'd give them this, right? I'd say, I, if I'm the gas station guy, I'd say, I'd walk out there, I'd say, pay me for the shit you stole, or I'm going to call the cops, right? I'd give that. Like, he has the right to call the cops, right? If I'm them, though, would y'all do that? If I'm them, I'm going to walk up to them, I'm going to do the same thing he did, I'm going to say, you stole, I saw you steal, Either pay me for the shit you stole, or I'm gonna call the cops. Right? Walk back in. We'll do the interaction, and then I'll and then you can leave, or I'm gonna call the cops. Right? I'm not just gonna be like, all right, fuck you. I'm calling the cops because it's like twelve dollars a shit. Right? It's not that. It's not like they just walked in and yoinked like everything in the fucking store. Clutch for the sub. Soapy for the sub. Let's go. But I was out come here show me. You seen that? Yeah. Well, she's a liar. You wanna come show me where it is? You wanna show me where it's at? I need it. I don't care where it is on you, you dumbass. You took it and you took it in the bathroom. You're a fucking liar. You're going to show me where you set it out? Would y'all do what I did? Would y'all do what I said or would y'all just call the cops on her immediately? I would give her a chance to pay me, right? I would give her a chance. I would say, even though you fucking just clearly stole, I would say, like, there's no point in ruining this woman's life over fucking stealing $12 of shit. Obviously, it's not going to ruin her life, but it would probably hurt on a job resume because you're going to have a criminal record. You're going to have to deal with all that shit. Soros for the sub. Yeah, I'd give her a chance to pay me. Oh, I set it down before I went in the bathroom. You're a liar. All right, get the fuck out of here, you fucking piece of shit. You're going to wait for the police? I mean, he is going to make money off this video, too. So, I mean, yeah, like, he got 800K views. He probably made, like, 4K off this fucking video. You're not. You're going to wait for him? Hey, you're going to wait for him? Cool. All right. I don't know if he actually so calls back the cops inside or not. to take care of the best salesman down at Medina Auto Mall, Gooch, and call the police because obviously they're gonna wait for him. Oh, that car ain't starting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn! Da -da 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 Fucking Jesus! You gonna flood the engine for him? Oh. Yeah, that baby purr. Yeah, they took the muffler off that bitch. And she go. If you know this thief, let her know that. I don't think he calls the cops on them. If you want my honest take, do y'all think he calls the cops? No. I think I don't think he calls the cops. I think he just posts this. And then he makes the money back off of that. I'm a sub. I think he makes the money off, but I think he makes the money back from fucking uh, posting the video of, of him being like, you stole. I don't think he actually calls the cops on him. And then they just look like a dumbass. You'd have a better chance of robbing a bank than stealing a Mars bar from this servo. She needs to turn herself into the local authorities. So he, so she deadass stole like $10 a shit. And this man made a whole ass video about it. <laughs> Nah, that's funny as fuck, though. She stole M&M's and some car shit. And he's fucking chasing her out of the goddamn store. You're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. I'd be like, bro, just pay me for this shit.
All right, we're going to call it there, chat. W fucking stream. W charity stream, by the way. Final tally. We'll pre the dono that I have to do um, after the stream is over. Where is it? 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 Set up. Boom. Overview. 2,088.52. So with the dono that I'm going to do, it's probably going to be, what, like 2,200 uh, something? 2,200 something? After I, I, I don't know. My mods will let me know what I have to dono. Uh, and then I'll probably tack on a bit more. Uh, but yeah, W stream chat, $2,088.52 for F cancer. W uh, fucking stream and F cancer in the chat. Uh, and yeah, we're going to call it there. Thank you uh, for F cancer for allowing me to do this charity stream. Uh, I love doing charity streams. And we'll do more in the future uh, for F cancer and just other charities in general. Um, and yeah. We'll call it there, chat. Uh, w stream once again. Exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord. 10 videos for me to react to. Games for me to play. Uh, in the video suggestion tab. Game suggestion tab. Uh, video suggestion tab for uh, video uh, react days. And then uh, fucking gaming tab for gaming days. Uh, tomorrow, I will not be live. It'll be my day off. I stream Tuesday. So I could have off Saturday this week. Um, but normally my day off is Tuesday. But I won't be live tomorrow. I'll be live Sunday doing reactions at 2 p.m. EST. Monday, we're going to start a new game called Bramble the Mountain King at 4.30. Tuesday, I probably won't be live. Wednesday, we're either going to finish Bramble the Mountain King or play Demonologist with Max Taylor uh, and then some other shit after that. Thursday, I'll probably do a mixture of Fortnite and Fall Guys uh, and maybe some other gaming uh, or some other shit. I don't know for sure yet. Uh, Friday reacts. Saturday, uh, we might st or next Saturday, we might start the new Jedi Survivor game. Uh, once again... Thank you for everybody that came out into the stream. Thank you for everybody that donated. I appreciate you all. Maniac for the Preach of Bodies. Can you raid XX Warriors? I'll look at what they're doing. Uh, I appreciate all of you. Uh, and I hope to catch y'all in future streams. We had a great chat, great audience today. Hope I entertained y'all. I hope uh, y'all had fun watching. Uh, and I hope to catch y'all in future streams. We will raid this guy. Uh, and yeah. W stream once again. Hope to catch y'all in Sunday's stream. If not, maybe Monday for Bramble the Mountain King or whenever y'all want to show up. Uh, I will be posting on YouTube right after I end stream. Uh, and yeah, uh, sub to the gaming YouTube, exclamation point gaming YouTube, uh, uh, new video coming out, or the main YouTube as well. Uh, but I'll catch y'all later. We're going to rate it 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.